It's been a very long time since I've dropped a randomizer on the main channel. So what I decided to do was not level, randomize the enemies and items, excluding key items, and try to beat all the content plus DLC. This became the most cursed run that I've ever seen in my life up to this point. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Try to install the randomizer again, and the item randomizer will not undo itself, essentially, so I had to reinstall the game. The game downloaded slow, so I'm like, okay, Miyazaki wants me to not do this, but I'm still gonna try. And then the first seed that I randomize, a gargoyle is blocking the hallway, so I can't move. And it's before you get the first weapon, so you can't even kill him, really. It's like two damage. I fixed all that, now we're good. We're gonna begin. We're gonna see if we can get level one with randomized enemies. 10% um, chance for the enemies to be replaced by a boss in regular areas. 100% chance that a boss is switched. The difficulty curve is completely random, so it could be very, very hard. And I've never actually done this before, but eventually it'd be cool to uh, to do some more stuff with randomizers, maybe hitless eventually, I don't know, or even even like a speed run. And we're gonna time this too, we'll see. I think that it'll, it's gonna take at least like maybe six to eight hours or so, but we'll try it out. It's gonna get right into this and go as quick as possible. So we gotta pick Pyromancer to be level one. I'm not gonna use Pyromancies as much as possible. I mean, if I find something like maybe Power Within, I feel like that's fair, but I'm not gonna use any castings I can throw at people, like only the uh, the weapons, the melee weapons, because I feel like that's more, more of a challenge. I'm gonna use this guy, this guy's serious. This guy with swept back, gray hair, there we go. Awesome. Also, I, for I keep forgetting, like, I know some people might have just tuned into the stream and haven't been here since I took a break. If you have any questions, let me know. I have streamed a little bit since then, but not a lot. Just getting back into it. So who do we got? We got, that is Asylum Demon. And, but that's a different dude, so we know it's randomized still. So he replaced himself, I guess. I don't think that's Fire Sage. I was gone for months, man. I, I took a lot, long time off, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how, how insane it can get without it looking too scary, because I've never tried that before. Share, shave your hair down to one millimeter until you're bald. Dude, the game's gonna make me lose it anyways, so that's why we have to, like, against it, right? The quicker I beat the game, the more hair I keep. <laughs> For clarification, I haven't played games like this in a long time. I haven't really played many games at all, actually. So <laughs> I've been playing a lot of music, been just learning a lot of shit, reading a lot and stuff. Being outside in uh, the, the IRL with that new firmware update when the, where the sun disappears randomly and uh, it doesn't snow in the winter. Oh wait, that's, oh, we're already dead. <laughs> I didn't switch my weapon in time. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, what happened, basically, I went on a trip um, to Alberta specifically for a week and then came back. My editor got sick. I was sick, kind of lined up with the sickness of my editor. Editor was sick for three weeks. Mine was only a week. And then after that, I just took a lot of time to focus on music and learning a bunch of other stuff, gaining some new skills. Um, I actually, I said I was going to talk more about this. I guess I can share some some tiny details. So I learned how to um, like repair certain electronics and stuff like that. I rekindled the ability to solder things and just, you know, like, you know, look into water damage, restoration of things that have corrosion and stuff like that, and just um, like reflowing re circuits, essentially. Um, and then I also was like, you know what, I want to like start making custom video game devices, like Game Boys and stuff, because I like custom Game Boys, I think they're cool. I took a crack at actually like taking a part one that I already had and just rebuilding it and fixing a problem that the original maker had not fixed. And it's a common issue I've actually noticed on a few of them. So I fixed that, took a return because I sold it to a guy and then he said it was broken, I fixed it, sold to another guy and then I'm like you know what if I can just build it why don't I just build my own from scratch so I have the stuff on the way to do that and if that works out I might be able to either have you guys send in if you have an old Game Boy and you want it updated with like a crazy screen and you know brightness selection color selection bigger battery and stuff like that rechargeable could do those kind of things or even just sell them but um, I thought that was some, something cool as well so I picked up a little bit of that stuff learned how to repair electronic drums install triggers and stuff and then other than that yeah just a lot of music stuff for the music channel a lot of reading personal development stuff like that but we, uh, we're in there. Okay, we got Taurus Demon. I'm gonna try my best to not even use Fireball this whole time. If we can make it through with no Fireball, that'd be amazing. But again, I can't level the character. I can level up the weapon, and we can still get the regular items we would get in the game. So obviously Red Tear Stone Ring's available, which should make it a bit easier. So I think there's a chance we could actually do this. But if we get like a bad ONS fight or areas with multiple enemies that don't really match up well, uh, you're gonna see some deaths. <laughs> oh, we got the stagger as well. I think it's like three or four, right? Uh, yeah, okay, it's four. That was really lucky. <laughs> like, eventually, it would be super, super cool to do a hitless run on this fully randomized. Like, not even just enemies, but also items, too. I might try each one separately just to see how they go apart from each other and then do it together, but um, I, I've been really having fun with the randomizer stuff after that last run and just having not played this game. And I don't know why DS1's just really appealing right now to me. Maybe because I actually just wrote a video on it or, like, 
I've been including the topic in videos and kind of getting nostalgic for it, but did you get down with the sickness? I didn't get like super sick, but like I just ended up kind of being sick on the tail end of my editor being sick. Like we kind of synchronized it together where it was a month straight where there's nothing being done in terms of video making. Like I have a ton of videos that you haven't even seen yet that are finished, like fully written everything. They're just being edited right now. And then there's tons of videos already uploaded and finished that just need to be published when it comes to the music channel, the second channel, uh, main channel. There's two back burner videos that just need to be edited. One was the thing we just did. There's another one written and then I have the next concept for the next one done. So we're always usually ahead, but then I didn't have things done to just kind of release. So that's why there was a gap with the YouTube. Next time I'm going to really try hard to not make that the case because I've learned how to kind of get ahead with the music channel and that that's way more time consuming in my opinion. So there's not really an excuse to get too far behind if I'm going to take a break. So one thing I got to be better at is just kind of like letting you guys know again, the priority is not that I'm going to be streaming full time like all the time. It's going to be when it makes sense. I really enjoy it, but I enjoy it even more when I get to take time away. I just got to be a little bit more transparent of like, OK, so we're not going to be back for probably this long. And also here's a bunch of videos and that makes it a lot easier. Randomized hit list. Yeah, eventually, eventually, maybe not right away. <laughs> OK, I really hope I picked master key. I think I did. Yes. Little Eggy got Elden Ring no hit two days ago after 1,100 tries. Dude, that's crazy. I feel like Elden Ring would be harder because uh, there's a lot more stuff to randomize. And there's a lot more setup too. Like this, you're already ready to go. Do I have another job? YouTube is my main thing, my main YouTube channel. I have a second YouTube channel that just got monetized. Uh, third one is the music channel. That's more of like a project right now. That's more of like a passion thing. And eventually it probably will be monetizable as well within the year. So that's the goal. So like I could live off just the YouTube specifically, but then I also do brand deals for this specific channel. Um, sponsorships also on the main YouTube channel. Sometimes I do fitness coaching for people in real life and also in the community. So I've done a lot of contracts for that too, or essentially, you know, not even really contracts, but just the consultations we can say uh, made a lot of plans for people. Um, I used to do a lot of investing too. So I have multiple investment portfolios in crypto tech companies, stuff like that. I like to resell stuff. So I flip things sometimes too. I do a lot of different stuff and I've also done some voice acting here and there, but that's slowed down. I plan to come back and do some more for the Elden Ring sequel, the parody of the Elden Ring from uh, Matthew Shesman. He's doing a sequel for it. And I think he said I'm going to be in the sequel as well. I'm really trying to get him to let me be like a role that's really serious, like one of the more challenging ones. So I can add that to my portfolio for that stuff. But in terms of like regular nine to five, no, I can't, I can't be one of those people that do the nine to fives. It's too distracting from the other stuff I want to do. So I left that kind of place after I started putting a lot of time into this while I was you know, working on the side. And then the mistake I made originally was not doing this many things altogether at once, right? Because I think a lot of people, they realize five to 10 years down the road, they have to have a YouTube channel. It's not possible to just stream and then like really scale things by itself, unless you're really, really divisive or polarizing, I guess. Or again, like you have a niche where you've been around before everyone else. So you just have an easier time growing because you grew when it was less saturated and you were the only person to go to. So there's a couple of things like where I think people realize they need to diversify. So I just I wish I did it sooner, but I did do it before a lot of other people, but I didn't do it enough and I didn't do the main YouTube channel well enough. But because I didn't do that, I learned how to do the second one right from the beginning since you guys still like that type of content that's longer. So I can, you know, at least improve that quicker than how I did the first channel. And then hopefully the music channel by the end of the year is competitive to some degree. But, but yeah, I do like to try a lot of stuff. You you're the thousandth sub on the second channel, Kartofu. That's amazing, dude. Thank you. How much work went into the making of the history of no hit run video it was so well made. Oh, I appreciate that. That's really cool. Probably like a couple weeks or something like that. Maybe almost a month between the two of us. Most of that's just making sure the information's good. So we had to interview a lot of people. I had to like fact check everything. He had to fact check stuff. We had to get clips that were good and everything. Let's go. Let's go this way. Oh my God. That's Artorius. Okay. We don't want to go over there. Yeah. Let's get the soul just so we can upgrade the weapon. Maybe survive whatever is over at Gargoyles. Dude, look at the tracking on this guy. Why is he so good? Hmm. One handed. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, shit. Can't do that. Oh, I'm going to spill the water. I didn't want to jump. I'm going to die. I'm actually dead in a second. Oh, boy. This dog sucks. Okay, we're not going to go down here. So let's get the bonfire. I got to play this one a bit smarter than the last one we did. <laughs> I was having too much fun. <laughs> Or I guess maybe not even like not even just too much fun, but I was also like way too chill about it because we were catching up. So we got the tree over there. It's going through the roof. So I'm going to use these mainly because I, I mean, I don't think there's anything else we can really do with them anyways. It doesn't matter too much right now. We don't know what Andre has. I'm taking the chance. Oh, no, he's sorry. Wait, there's no item randomization. What am I saying? Okay, I'm being silly. No, we're good. We're good. Crazy talking. Oh, it's 900 to upgrade the wait, what? Oh, yeah, increases. I forgot. OK, so plus three. Yeah. So the thing with the videos, like I, I there's a lot of people that have asked for the sequel and I, I could do it. There's just something where like 
now when I make videos, I need to be excited to write it where it, it literally just comes out of me. Like it's not even, it, like it takes work. It has to almost autonomously write itself. And then, then I know I'm doing the right thing. If it takes a lot of struggle to figure it out, then it's not the right video to make. It needs to be super easy. Um, obviously it needs to, you know, be high quality take. I have to take my time, do it properly, make sure that, that it's good enough. Other than that though, the idea and the writing of it just needs to flow. Like it needs to come out. Now I'm getting a little bit more intuitive with like what's the right thing to do and what's not the right thing. I'm not trying to make pre-designated or arbitrary decisions for things based on what people would want or what would just be popular, if that makes sense. I'm kind of factoring in the popularity and what you guys want on top of what also is really fun to do and then trying to make a middle ground. Oh, I'm trapped in there. Okay, so this is another situation where people are getting stuck and I see a four king there. Ooh, this is a really bad seed. <laughs> Button layout should be randomized every death. Dude, that's a super good idea, actually. I think people have mentioned that before, but if there is a tool, if anyone knows, I would totally do that. Like killing this dude by itself is such a task. It might actually be better to run him back to Andre. Like I want to kill him this time just to get the souls because we're, we're already like halfway, right? We're on our way. But next time I might run him back. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> This is crazy. All right, 1200. That's, ah, you know what? We should probably use that right away. Uh, so we need two more. Okay, I'm gonna buy these. See a snake. And then there's a king in here somewhere. I don't know where he came from. He might've been upstairs. Oh my God, there's a pinwheel, dude. He's in the other room. Oh my God. It's two pinwheels. <laughs> this one was, was pretty savage because it actually replaced a lot of the beginning enemies with bosses. Like that's actually pretty decent if it's a 10% chance. But it also might mean it's easier to get through here too, because like there's more space now compared to that uh, that run that we did with the leveled character and the items randomized. 25 damage on Manus over here. Yo, okay, wait, that's fine. But we need to kill this dude, because when he joins, like that's gonna take forever, and he's bugging too. Let's see if this actually works. Maybe Manus will chill. I don't know. Can't do any magic yet. If this actually works, it'd be crazy. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to kill the Taurus demon. If if. He's not actually calculating damage, then this is a waste of time, right? But I know for a fact that his health will be so much lower than Manus's to the point where it might actually be able to, I might be able to kill him in like four or five hits, who knows? Because he's an early game enemy and this is only putting him a little later than he'd normally be. Okay, so I don't know if Taurus Demon's actually being affected here. It would be really annoying if he was. I just don't know what the health scaling is. Uh. All right, well, we did quite a bit of damage already. I'm just gonna focus on Manus now because it, I, I don't think it's working. That's my guess. I think he'd already be dead. And then we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it actually lowered anything when he gets called into the fight. And it's a little bit more legit, less cheesy. But yeah, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> and then with the magic as well, I don't know. Oh, oh no. I'm getting the reps in. <laughs> that 25 is so brutal. If I get hooked in one combo or he does any magic, I think it's gonna be a one shot. But, oh man, this is, it's worth it just to see. And then we just, we just have to figure it out again the next time. <laughs> Better than going and doing a bunch of other shit, trying to die to get to it just to see what's there and then still wasting a lot of time. <laughs> At least we have a plan. Oh no. Oh my God, dude. I have like one HP. I can see a fraction there. I don't know what that attack was. Okay, I'm kind of curious. I want to see how much damage does the fireball do? I don't think it's going to do much. He, he, he is a little weaker to fire, but I don't know if it's going to do much though. It's not upgraded. Oh, that's like nothing, dude. That's worse than the weapon. So it doesn't even matter. Great. Oh, and you can't really stagger Manus either. Hmm. This looks like fun. <laughs> looks like a little bit of something. That's all I can say. I was I was gonna give myself like an estimation of six to eight hours for this full run. And I only have like three and a half hours for the stream today. So we're gonna have to finish it tomorrow. Like you've been here, but I don't know if I've seen your stream though. I'm gonna follow you if I don't already. Let's see. Yeah, I don't follow you. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So yeah, what were you playing? Oh shit, no, no. Dude, I tried back in and then it fucking... Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? And now I can't... I don't have the Smith box, so I can't even get plus five. <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> he's gonna... Dude, he's gonna fucking try to kill me at the bonfire. We're just gonna have to go and do Manus the way we did. Hopefully Andre doesn't sandwich us with the crystal guy. <laughs> yeah, level one Manus, and then it, the scaling for some reason is pretty much the same as if you fought him in the DLC. So if like, like just to put in perspective, so like the hardest thing in the game for most people, if you aren't familiar with Manus, probably Manus or like Calamite, Artorias, something like that. They they have upwards of 5,000 HP usually or around 5,000. So he's being treated as if I'm just fighting him at the end of the game now, right now. Usually things scale where it's like, okay, it kind of makes it a bit more reasonable in terms of how much damage you can do or the health, but this is like almost the same. 
And now I'm getting stuck. Oh, you know what? The Black Knight, though. I think he sometimes drops materials. No. <laughs> enemy replaced by a boss. Like, basic enemies replaced by bosses is 10%. So the 10% chance thing is wild right now. Like, that's much more than 10% that we've seen so far. Or maybe, like, before when I had that set, it wasn't even working, really. And it was, like, 0% in, in actuality. Yo, they broke the pillars. Oh, my God, dude. Who's, who's trying to attack right here? The reach is so insane that I can't actually even believe it. Like, I don't, I don't remember the kings being able to hit them that far. And I think he can hit through the floor right here. I was a dark wraith. What? Dude, what is happening in this hallway here? Move. Yes, cursed. What? Yo, that's crazy. Why was it not that bad the first time? <laughs> What's happening? He's vibrating too. Ah, dude, being cursed already? That's, that's nuts. You know what? Screw the 52,000. I'm just going to use Red Tear Stone and I'm going to cry because it's going to take us long enough to get back to Manus as well. I might as well just try to fight Manus and then see how much damage we do to the Taurus Demon. Can use Pyromancy. I'm trying not to, but at the same time, though, I did use the Fireball just to see how much damage it did. And it did less damage to Manus than a plus four axe, which this axe is not that good, right? I don't even think we can really get away with progressing with Pyromancy right now other than basic enemies. And it's so slow that I think I do more damage per second with the weapon. So I can swing more often. Oh man, this is just... Alright, let's just pretend it's supposed to be like this and it's amazing. This is the regular game, guys. We didn't randomize it. Uh, Glorious, I'm doing good, dude. How are... Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. It, but again, I think that this run's gonna speed up once we beat Gargoyles. Because we beat, we got the first spell. Okay, so there's still the Dark Wraith up there. The Crystal Guy looks like he fell. I don't know if there's two of them. Oh my god. No curse, no curse, no curse, no curse. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so that part's easy. And then pinwheel on the ladder. Too slow. We have a couple things we could do. I could let Manus hit me. I, I think he's gonna kill me in one hit now, no matter what. So the red tears don't set up. I'm yeah, I'm skeptical. <laughs> but I could let him hit me and see if I can activate it. Still doing 25 damage otherwise. I'm trying to think of like what's oh, you know what? What if I block one of his attacks that don't have a follow-up? That would probably let me survive. And that was almost it. Okay. Not really good enough though. <laughs> Where's the boss audio? It glitches on the randomizer. Okay, let's try to set up our tear stone. Nope. Oh, that was a combo. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, man. Oh, I think I might want to just get the Andre bonfire. Let's just go back. And then on top of that, let's debate if it might be better to go and do whatever, replace Sif, just to see. It's it's going to be pretty hard, probably, but that would still need to be done later. Okay, how are we going to kill Andre here? I think we're going to have to get him to back away. <sighs> do I have to cheese him, man? I might have to cheese him, guys. That didn't even hit him. What? How far can he go? Are we lost? That drop kick is crazy, by the way. That's the coolest move. Oh, dude, the fucking thing's coming out of the ground. I that scared the hell out of me. I thought that I thought that the game was able to just make enemies be under the ground for some reason, like the uh, the trees. You stole from me blatantly. You have your Spanish channel, squee squee squeelo kilo. <laughs> oh no, dude. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a gargoyle. Okay. We found the gargoyle at least. And is it glitched? Oh, that sucks. So this happened on Quayleg with, it was giant Ornstein instead of Quayleg. I don't know why this happens. It might be because he'll try to jump and it'll just bug out or something. Cause like he technically does fly a little bit. It also could be that he's stuck. I don't know. That's a lot of damage on that damn. Okay. <laughs> Spanish dub is something you, need, you never knew you needed. That's something that'd be really cool in the future to do Spanish dubs or subtitles. I, I think Mr. Beast does that for his stuff. I, I just incorporated subtitles into the most recent video with the help of uh, Galaxy as well. Like that was a crazy long time coming, but subtitles, they make a big difference. I know people like chapters too. Sometimes I don't do the chapters because I know people will just skip to something and then they won't actually get the point because the way I order it is to, you know, it's for a reason and then I might circle back to ideas to expand on them. So if you just go to that part, you don't really get much. You might just get whatever you think you want. All right, let's go and do the nemesis. Andre right now is the, the nemesis. Gwyn replaces a passive mod. He will T-pose. That would explain why a lot of the enemies don't get out of the T-pose ever. They just get stuck in um, in a new Londo because the new Londo enemies don't attack you by default. They don't have aggro. Uh, Moonlight Butterfly is flying out of the map, so its ID might not trigger gargoyles to do anything because it's not actually existing in the space that he spawned in. At. It's somewhere else. Like it's that that itself is probably a whole nother event that takes place where 
it has to cue like, okay, it's got to fly in because it comes from, I don't know, it's like the right side of the bridge or whatever. You see Mr. Beast hired voice acting for Naruto to do his Japanese voice translation. I didn't see that. That's smart though. For Japanese, that, and especially, oh shit, wait, no, 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 yo, oh shit. Okay, that was scary, I forgot. I need to hit the bonfire. Oh no. We got Red Tearstone though. <laughs> What would be my dream dub voice? Like, if, if I could get somebody to dub me in a different language? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't know. I don't I don't actually know the names of uh, foreign voice actors. I don't, like, I watch things sometimes in uh, different languages, like movies that are filmed in the original language. But I don't really watch anime that much at all, and usually when I do, that's always dubbed. So, I mean, I'm not even really, like, a real fan. I'm, I'm counted as, like, a fake person that likes it. So, yeah, that'd be a good question. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh... Miyazaki or Kojima, because I like them. They're, they're two of my favorite people. Miyazaki doesn't talk that much, though, so <laughs> it might be very difficult to get him to say anything. I need to wait till he's in it and then just hit him a bunch of times. The punch is so fast, dude. Oh, 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 yo, what the fuck? Dude, the fucking turn on that guy. <laughs> the snap. He's got the Iron Mike jab, you're right. He's got the Iron Mike build, too. I bet you, like, Andre might actually be Mike Tyson, it's possible. This is not working, I'm just gonna... That doesn't even hit him? What? <laughs> Can he run into the big room? I might be able to just get him to go in the hallway down here. 141, uh, I really don't want to cheese Andre, but might have to. Oh, he does run into here. Me Whoa, okay. <laughs> I don't think I have another choice. Like, this is actually really hard to get hits in and there's no backstab if i turn around he's not gonna lose track of me he's gonna just turn and jab at the same time andre's been undefeated his whole boxing career andre never was uh was even given a chance i think that's why he's so ready right now i'm pretty sure like this is uh it's like dormammu basically he's serving a sentence of in like infinite sword making and the sword never gets done and now that we've finally found the secret to like actually glitch him and, and let him be free he's he's a boxer so yeah like maybe i can hit him in the back once in a while here and then, can I hit him through this? No. Well, surprise. Dude, that's such a quick animation. What? Even when it doesn't hit you, it's scary. Well, the new background. Oh yeah, I don't have the green screen up right now. It's a little easier just to stream like this from time to time. I, pr I will have the green screen again on occasion. I think first playthroughs would be really cool for that. Um, but when I do the music streams, like just having the background so I can bring the drums close to the wall, it's so much easier. And then I did put up some stuff so it actually fills up the background. I got some lights too. I need a like a remote switched for the main light so I can just kind of go beep and then and see the colors and everything. Let's go see what's in the forest. I feel like there's an aggression mod on or something. Some of these enemies, <laughs> they're, they're going so hard they're jumping off of cliffs to try to kill me. That thing scares the hell out of me. Those things, I don't fight them that often. They, they aren't even in areas you have to go to to progress in the game. Andre's walkout would be Plin Plon. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And then you'd see uh, the actual true story that Gwyn is Andre. That's why they look the same. But it's like Andre went and he uh, he went through his career as the boxing champion in another land. And then Mike Tyson finally defeated him, came back. And then he got so angry that he locked himself away, became hollow, and then decided to cheat by using weapons that were on fire. And that's that's the story. Well, Gwyndre. <laughs> I want to call him Guandre. Guandre would sounds way cooler. Guandre or Guapdre would be funny. Guandre sounds tasty. Guandre sounds like a fruit that like it's only on one island and no one's ever found it yet. And when you when you eat it, you might actually live to like a hundred. Fro looking immaculate. I appreciate that. I put a lot of effort now into the hair stuff just because I realize if you have hair this long and it is as like coily, like I said, a lot of moisturization, a lot of uh, like actually it's kind of weird. It's the exact opposite of what I used to do. I used to comb my hair all the time, like super, super heavily comb it, like until it was like even and everything. And uh, I would use shampoo. I would use conditioner all the time. Like I would use the bad ones as well. Now I like I, I do the exact opposite and it's so much better like exactly what you think you need to do sometimes you don't but that's just for me that's what works i think it's because um products dry my scalp out and i don't have an overly oily skin or or scalp situation so like even for like cleansers and stuff like that or products that uh wash your face like there's a lot of a lot of cases where it's like i don't want to be buying products to maintain the damage they're doing by drying out things or you know making things more complicated all right that, that was sif that was super easy 
So there is progression. We're making progression. The only problem, there's no merchant we can use the souls on that exists in this area. So I can go, can try to go into Undead Burg again. I don't know. So, <laughs> your Caucasian hair doesn't need shit. Yeah, some people get lucky. Like you actually could specifically use nothing as long as you, uh, you know, obviously have like water and stuff like that. And like, I'd say sometimes definitely like if you get dirt or something like that, and use use a little bit of something. Use some shampoo once in a while, a moisturizer or whatever. But like you don't actually have to do as much in certain cases. And I, I've seen some people people. I did a couple um, couple checks on a few different types of situations with people's skin situations and all that just to see what their experience was doing the opposite of what you know you'd be told by Let's dermatologists grand, doctors whatever so and you can literally just see it's like so much better so the world <laughs> might be but I think that's because it's like it's not the same case basis some people like if they overproduce the oils it's gonna be different you can afford to be drier with certain products and then in terms of like combing the hair that's probably optional but combing my hair like ruined it a lot like I only do a little bit of it it's very light but most of it does not get combed. Being cursed part of the run or just misfortune? Being cursed is literally not on purpose. I got cursed right before I ran into a, a, the doorway before the gargoyles. And it's crazy because since then, I still haven't even seen that enemy again. Like the cloud only popped up the one time. That's the craziest thing in this whole run so far, by far. The fact that I, the curse only happened once. <laughs> it, it almost makes me wish that it happens every time because then, you know, like what can you do? <laughs> Can't you heal the curse? I can. So there's a lady that has the item to down here. But to get to her, you have to go through all of the area with the undead berg and then do the skip for Capra Demon or legitimately get to Capra Demon. And then you don't have to kill Capra Demon. You could run by it and we could get the, the shortcut. You do the double shaded haircut. What are the, what's the double shaded? Is it like a fade? That, that's, that, that literally sounds like a like an art project or something. <laughs> I do the double shading and then I uh, use the primary colors as well. Wait, Jor, you ha you have a fade specifically? I've seen a picture of you and I you had long hair. I did not see you with a fade. Unless you're saying you would do it if you could pull it off. Okay, you need to show me a picture of you with a fade. I need to see this. Let's make a fade channel in Discord. Dude, there was a thing that I saw a long time ago. I don't even know what the name of the convention was, but a dude went in like a... Oh, wait, dude, it was it was uh, the FaZe guy. It was uh, FaZe Rain specifically. I think he went to... When I used to watch the Call of Duty stuff, he stopped doing Call of Duty for a bit and he went to a vape convention and his whole thing was like he wanted to vape a bigger cloud than everybody else. So he would just like <laughs> haul on his vape or whatever and he would... <laughs> he'd make like just gigantic clouds inside the building and he'd be wearing a he was wearing a bathrobe the whole time and i was like why is there a vape convention i was like is it that like is it necessary to do trade shows i thought that was just something that like it sells itself especially if there's nicotine i'm like you need to go to a convention to advertise products that have addictive chemicals what i, th I don't know if he got kicked out or people pissed off or whatever but like it was so stupid though I am getting terrified of this run now, but we're hanging in there. If I get Red Tearstone on Manus, he can die very fast still. That's a guarantee. It's the only only gripe I would have about the randomizers. Like you get the best seed that you could possibly pull off, but you'll never get it again. <laughs> and then you're on the last one. Oh God. Ooh. Okay, right here. Nope, that's gonna die, okay. And then one more, one more. Nope, that still kills, okay. What? Oh boy, no. What is it even for? Why do we even have tongues? Whoa, okay. Oh, the dog. Stupid dog. So this fight might be kind of rigged because of the, the snake guy. Blocking that did not work. Oh, that was really bad. Oh my god. Um, this... Oh god. And that was not real. <laughs> that still kills me. That's so crazy. Okay, now we're in this situation where we can do the Dark Wraith situation. The setup. And he killed me. Can the crystal guy maybe help? No, that one shots too. Um, one of the one of the attacks from the four kings might be good. It can it can track me before I arrive, right? It's not it's not noticing me like right when I show up. It, it already knows I'm there. See, so I can die through the floor, and that is kind of funny. <laughs> Block. That didn't work. No. Chill. Chill, bro. Okay. No. no ah. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, we could block through the fog gate, too. That's a whole other method. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, boy. Ugh. There still might be some stuck up here. Oh, yeah, we're going to go up to the left side. I forgot. It's possible. Oh, he takes half the health for one engagement? What? Wait, maybe I can go. <gasps> Yo, I got pushed. And then I got killed. This might have the most possible clips of me dying in crazy ways that you've ever seen in one playthrough. Death. I'm just thinking, like, what if the rat inside the, the waterway thing is another vagrant or something that can snipe me, and all I can do is roll away. I can't go sideways around it. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Dude, he comboed me. What? Oh, he can uncurse you with humanity in the ruins. Oh, can he actually? If you have humanity, he can uncurse. Wait, I think there is still one shots from Manus no matter what. And then dude, there's Gwyn over here. <laughs> I don't think he's going to move though. If I were to kill him, how much would he give me? Oh, he's moving now. Uh oh, that was not a good idea. Probably want to get this. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> wait, did I just get five souls for Gwyn dying? No, I didn't. Wait, let me parry him. Let's just do this this way. Okay, never mind. Just leave. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. That was weird. Oh, there's Ornstein right there. That's really bad because now we have to knock him out of the way. This is just bananas, dude. And there's a dark gray. What? He's still kind of being weird, though. Uh, maybe we can just kill him. He's going to respawn every time if we die. This is just something else. Traption doesn't move. Can I knock this guy off? At least they're kind of chill. Okay, you can kick this guy. That's good. So I'm pretty sure if I could... Whoa. What? No. Okay. Wait. Let's just keep going. That's fine. No one cares. No one saw anything. Yeah. He did. He did ascend, and then I get the shortcut. So many mushrooms. Does anybody in chat like eating mushrooms specifically? Like, and if you do, what's your favorite uh, variety specifically? If it's not shiitake, you're absolutely banned. There might even be a necessity to quit out here if we're going to uncurse ourselves. Like, I'm just going to say that we did quit out on this run, and that quitouts are allowed. I'm not going to abuse them if I don't have to at all, because I don't care about that. But. I used them already, so we're already in here. And I'm glad, because this dog is stupid. Okay, whoa. Ooh, okay, okay. Maybe we can make it? If I, sw I swear, if Miyazaki makes the DLC for Elden Ring where dogs can all of a sudden climb ladders, I might not play it. Especially after doing this. Dude, does it actually say no humanity? Okay, wait. I didn't know you had to pop one and then talk to him. I thought you actually give it to him from your inventory. That shows how long it's been. Thank God, dude. Okay, now we can get the key to the seal, too. And I have the ring, so I could try uh, Four Kings if I can kill him right now. So have to be very careful. He's a little fast. He hasn't swung yet. That's weird. Oh, wait, maybe he has to talk first. They counted for that? Oh, wait. We're good. That's super weird. He he attacks me usually, unless I, like, three-shot him or something. I was, was going to get ready to parry him. All right, so we can do some super late game right now, since we had that whole Sif encounter done. Gargoyles cannot swim. Channeling the inner Gideon. <laughs> I'm so happy I haven't seen Gideon in a long time. I don't miss Gideon. I thought it was actually in the NVIDIA GeForce panel since it came out. Because I optimized mine. Oh, <gasps> no! <laughs> Got a Chandler right here. He's ch Oh, the dog. Oof. Move, 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 move. Uh, something happened in the fight. I don't know what it was. That sound is only when you beat something big. So either this is going to be really buggy or the game is being silly. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, what? Dude, where? 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 How? H how though? There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Dude. I think the game actually did screw up. Okay. That's bullshit, dude. We literally have an invisible thing attacking me. Oh, I can lock on though. I can't see the weapon. So we have to guess what it's gonna do, though I can lock on some way, and then there's Seath. But it's probably gonna catch up to me. Yeah, see, like what, dude, what the fuck is that? This this might be impossible. <laughs> it's, it's, yo, what? Dude, that's not even real. That's not a thing. How is it in the game? <laughs> Dude, it literally went from across the map and hit me and there's nothing there. And it used a lightning bolt. What the fuck is that? That's not an enemy. <laughs> I'm actually, dude, I, I don't know enough about ran this this uh, software, obviously, to understand what that was. That's that's literally impossible. Like, that that's just pure luck, dude. There's no way we're going to do that. There's, there's nothing there. <laughs> Move set randomizer? Probably an NPC. But, dude, it's, it's the attack of the four kings on an invisible entity that can move at lightning speed and throw lightning. The little lightning gargoyle thinks ran Orlando, but but what's the, what? why am I getting attacked by nothing though? That's the thing, right? It's you in third person hitting yourself. That's okay, that really is annoying because I think the only way it might be possible to do that, I might have to actually re reshuffle the seat at the very end of the game and do that last. Was that Ornstein? Yeah, it, it, it must be Ornstein because of the lightning, but then why does the move, like why are the attacks the animations of the King's Blade plus it's invisible. Like the only thing, yeah, reload the game, that's true. Oh, you know, it's probably because of, again, when we went in, there was that sound as well. That could 
play a part. Invisible is more fun. Well, when I played the fight on the, the run we did recently with the jelly beans, there was an entity that was floating that was kind of invisible, but it had a little bit of illumination and it, you could see the, the, the weapon. So like I at least knew what was going on, but that one was weird. It somehow combined a few different things and something disappeared at the same time. Actually, I'm curious, has anybody ever done level one randomizer before? Like, is that a run that's been done by a person? Because I actually, I've never heard anybody do it. I'm sure somebody has at some point, but I wonder if there's a video out there of that. Because when I had this idea, I'm like, I've never done that, but I've also never seen anybody do it. This is so frightening. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> one thing I can try though is, okay, so see how Ornstein's right here? So I can try to just get really close. Is it Big Ornstein as well, or is it the small one? I guess we'll figure it out. Dude, that's crazy. The quit out woke the Chandler. Yeah, there's so many broken things that happen when you do this stuff. <laughs> Lava pyromancy on the floor, you'd see fire damage on the body. Yeah, there's, we're gonna have to come back with, yeah, maybe Iron Flesh, maybe a crazy suit of armor where we can't even move and then just spam them down or something and then see if that works. If that doesn't, I'll try full stone armor with um, just chugging and, and praying it works. Until then, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we could get the stone armor right now too, actually, I could try. It's just two, two, two things we can try. We could try stone armor. I just don't know if the damage will be that good. And we could also try the fire bombs on Manus as well. Could it be both Ornstein and Smo? I think it's just Ornstein, but I'm not sure, like the, the smaller one usually isn't that fast or has that kind of reach, so. That's crazy. I think Red Tier Stone is going to be a lot easier to set up now, though. What? Oh my god. That was overhead, so it didn't let me block. Calm down. Manus, why? Why do you keep doing the same fucking stupid combo, dude? Couple other factors. One that's gone now. Luckily, I was cursed, but I got rid of it. <laughs> or did I? <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like after I'm done this, I might upload the seed to like some sort of uh, paste bin and then you guys can try it yourself. <laughs> It'll be known as the uh, the most unfair leveled or unleveled seed to start off on, minus the Asylum. Like, I feel as if every enemy was Gwyn is still, a, it, it's a better comparison. It's a more likely comparison to win. If every single enemy was Gwyn. Cause like, he's very, very dangerous regardless as just a basic enemy. It's the only thing I can think of that's bonkers. Okay, here we go. Much easier to set up Red Tier Stone because we have a bigger range of health to get within. Firebomb does 19, that's terrible. Okay, no point of doing that. Oh, 87 on running, dude. Okay, that's that dude. That's it. And then I need to... Okay, I see. Okay. This is one of those moments where I, I reference Nems. If you guys know Nems, the speedrunner. There was a time where he said the word okay in such a way that it was just more okay than a normal okay. When he died on Abyss Watchers on a crazy speed run. He's just like, okay, dude. Okay, dude. First of all, they didn't even hit me. That's the only kind of okay that's okay for this because we were doing way more damage on 27. That's, I've never been so happy to land such little damage on an enemy that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think if you want to just appreciate the finer things, just get into this uh, game and play Manus as the first boss, level one, plus four hatchet. I just gotta hit him with R2. If I, I, it, there's really almost no opportunity to hit him twice here safely. So I'm gonna just be very careful. Oh, we're doing, we're doing some moonwalking. Oh, there we go. He's joining in, dude. Ah! Ah! Yo, yo, dude, this is so bad. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Stop, just fucking stop playing with me. Don't play with him. Don't play with the kid, dude. Don't play with the kid. Yo, this is fucked, <laughs> dude. This is so bad. I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit. I don't like this, man. I really don't. I, there's a possibility. What? <laughs> what happened? What happened, man? Taurus Demon can die really fast. We know that. So that's a, that's a very good thing. Yeah, two of the lightnings. Oh, the I was not blocking when the dog bit me. He can upgrade normally to plus five. Oh, okay, damn it. Well, I know what. Thank God the NPCs aren't randomized. Whoa. I might as well go to him then. Yo.
producer and guitar player from there, he won a Grammy, I'm pretty sure, for Latin music and working with other people. And that was, and unfortunately he passed away, but I got to see him before then. And I would never have guessed he would have accomplished all that stuff because I didn't even know at the time he was even the producer. We we're talking about our favorite bands, you're guessing with Cliffy, and he was like, you're not gonna believe this. It's really cool. That's basically like when I went into the, the music store over where I am. And, or actually, sorry, it was when I lived in a different city, but it was pretty close. Still, still same province, same country, everything. My buddy had a friend that came in, and I've told the story before. He was a producer that worked with Periphery, and they stayed at his house. And he's got pictures of like him hanging out with them, and he's got... And then my friend, the guy that I actually hang out with, who unfortunately now, like, I mean, I'm really happy for him. He's married, he's got a kid and everything, and like, he's a little bit busier. Um, he kind of started to do his own thing with work instead of like working for someone. So he's, he's got a lot of time invested into that. But when we used to hang out, he would show me pictures of him hanging out with Rhodey Walker and Luke Hoskin, freaking all the people from Protest the Hero. Literally in places I've been to, because they, they, they literally just live like a, a couple cities away. And I'm just like, man, that's ridiculous. Like, I'm playing their music like since I was maybe 15. He's hanging out with them during, just after that time. I I don't even know this guy yet and it's like it's weird how you just meet people and then they know people that you just look up to as if it's nothing jason richardson is nuts jason richardson's crazy there's some people that they play music and there's some people that are music and he is he's just music that's it <laughs> like it's it's very obvious to see exactly how he gets to that level if you study his uh his timeline and you like watch all the interviews you you pay attention to everything he's been a part in even like that cribs episode where he talks about like like if you look in when when born of osiris lived in that house if you just look at his room look at what he does compared to the other people and you can see exactly why he left the band and you can see why he's so much like of a higher performer to lee mckinney specifically even though i love lee mckinney still i think he's amazing um even lee mckinney specifically mentioned like you know he, they struggled with like a lot of substance abuse he was focused on being a really good guitar player to the point where he left them because again, he wanted to go and do his own thing. There is like signs of that happening. I feel like even like in the earliest origins of Born of Osiris that you can find, but it's cool that like, even when he left, like they're still pretty good. It's just, you can tell a huge part of it's gone. Like that, like what made it what it is, it, a lot of it's gone, unfortunately. All right, well we killed Pinwheel specifically. Um, I'm just gonna die here and then I'm gonna try to get the blacksmith really quick right before we end, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the bridge. Vince Neil had hung out in your house, Pops was lit. Dude, I that's that's amazing. And at the same time as you saying that, it's very amazing, but I just realized we we legitimately just like now we have to walk up here backwards without the lantern. That's that's actually crazy. Um <laughs> I've done this once before, but I had the only way to survive it with the bow mills, I had to roll and then quit while the character was in the air and then just repeat that over and over again. The way to get back, I know we have to go up like um uh, I think it's the the one tomb that has the divine ember, right? Let me see. It's somewhere... Uh, wait. I, oh, no, wait. Maybe we have to play the cutscene. Oh, man. Throw fireballs to illuminate the path. Oh, wait. This doesn't have particle effects that are good enough. Let's see. That doesn't even do anything. It sucks. I think we actually have to trigger the patch's cutscene to, to do it. Could be wrong, but I guess we will see. And then this looks like the way to get out of here. Oh, shit! Dude, why did I check right... Oh, my God, dude. Why? Look at the path. Look how small it is. That, I don't know if this would have worked that well without this. Oh my God. Okay, are we going where he is or are we going in the cave? I'm throwing, I'm, it looks like I'm throwing and it, the, the thing that makes it worse, I don't know how by how much, but I haven't played these games in a long time. I did that that uh, one randomizer with the jelly beans as kind of a D-Rust and that was even kind of silly. Like it definitely wasn't as good as it, I probably would have done it before. But then again, like the attempt on mana shows, I still have like the knowledge for those types of situations. Yeah, quitting the first playthrough on this area seems legit if you go here first. Seems like that would be very tempting. Because you'd be stuck. On uh, Dark Souls 3, when I fought Yorm originally, I didn't know that on the Storm Ruler, you have to hold the button like a certain amount of time to charge up the effect of it. It just obviously says it, it slays giants and shit, right? The fact that you have to hold it longer than I did was mind boggling because I held it for like literally just a second short of how long you have to hold it every time. And then eventually I was like, okay, obviously holding it is not the way, but it was because nothing, I was like, nothing's happening. Like, what? <laughs> oh my God, it's the golden dude. Got dusk. Uh, part one of maybe five, <laughs> trying to get out of here. Like, the craziest part, too, is where do we go? What is happening here? I'm so afraid, dude. Oh, my God. 
that's oh, that's very bad oh, there's way too many problems with this seed it's ridiculous what is happening over here uh wait there's two, there's two of the four kings oh that's even worse okay so i have to make it up that ladder quit out run to the ladder in that room quit out again get on the ladder maybe survive and then we'll go from there it's the plan so far so i don't actually believe there will be a way to beat this part just purely by skill unless you quit out wait i'm i'm not oh nope dead okay i wish you could quit out on a ladder and then actually live that's crazy so we can't even get up to the ground level that's crazy Cross attack, uh, gotta really quickly quit out here, and then he's gonna grab. So we might be able to roll like once or twice before quitting out again, unless we spawn into them attacking, which, oh, it does the bottom of the ladder. That's really unfortunate, so I can't even quit out there. Have to get further in, and then not get any verticals. <laughs> no way, no way, dude. It's because there's two of them. I probably could have quit out. Oh, there's Gargoyle. Oh, okay. We, we basically need him to grab for me to get up the ladder and live. Or he needs to, like, somehow not know I'm there as soon. And I don't have hidden body, I don't think. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Couldn't use it anyways. Um, fog ring. Ooh. Can't get that now, but fog ring might, might ha actually help with this run. There's a thrust attack. Uh, can we get out of here, though? Nope. Well, okay, wait. We know that this dude can't climb the ladder, so let's just chill. Gargoyle might fall. I don't know if they're stuck on each other, though. I don't think they're going to de-aggro either. Because it's not even an it's it's not an enemy it's a boss so the boss pursues differently than the enemies would like they don't even have a diagro technically <laughs> okay i can see some attacks can he reach from here i'm gonna have to use the sound of the grab attack or the explosion to try to get up there yeah they're definitely stuck because you can hear the gargoyle running he's doing the sprint he's attacking off to the side now maybe that's good seems like right below where the item is is safe uh shooter i appreciate that thanks man that's very nice of you to say oh that doesn't have audio we can't use the aoe <laughs> It's kind of weird, though. I wonder, you know, here, wait, let's try something different. Let's quit out at the bottom of the ladder and then go back on the ladder again and then just see what the timing is like, just climbing up it, getting into a situation, hopefully without these guys killing us. Yeah, it's already just completely activated and it can reach all the dude. It can reach halfway down the wall. That's insane. You're going so ham. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna quit out here. Yes, okay, we're in the room, nice. I don't know if that killed me. It looked like it did something. Or something hit me at the same time. Might have been the gargoyle. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're dead on arrival, nice. Uh, this is gonna kill through the wall? Yep. Uh, and I could block at least. Oh, uh, you know, Ornstein, can you can you please like just you and your friends and like the four kings and the, the gargoyle and the crystal guy, can you guys just like maybe like have your party somewhere else, like not in Tomb of Giants, cause like I rented it out actually for a bar mitzvah, so yeah, it's for my cousin. Please just yeah, oh you're gonna kill me anyways? Okay. That was the luckiest one so far, but it still didn't work. <laughs> If I make it out of here, this is going to be a uh, heart like it would be a bigger achievement than doing the damageless trilogy. I'm going to say it right now. And if anybody takes this exact ID for this seed and does a hitless run on it at level one, I will literally give you a hundred dollars, dude. So That's probably not even beginning be to be enough of a reward, but like I'll give you a hundred so bucks if you do this seed hitless level one and prove it and do it live, especially like that'd be that'd be insane. Okay, he grabbed me. That's good. Grab is fine. Ooh. okay, okay. One roll and then quit out. Uh, not even possible. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I couldn't, the, the game couldn't even pick the input up yet. Like there was not even enough time for it to buffer. Oh, cause you have to stand up when you spawn in. You don't just, you can't move right away. Okay, that makes sense. So we, yeah, that's a, that's way worse. <laughs> uh, this will work. I think maybe, uh, we're close. We're very close. <sighs> Let strength be granted so the world oh, oh, can be made. Oh, dude, the ladder was right there. I think it was right so beside me. Oh, boy. Large soul of a proud knight. Wow. Oh, okay. We survived there for a little bit. Oh, dude, I made it up to the second level, dude. No way. What was that? Oh, my God. 
Okay, that can be blocked, but then rolling, 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 okay. Heal and then quit out. So we still got the health. And then turn around block in the corner facing the other way while locked on, strafing, and maybe getting into the ladder. Ah, it's still a little bit tricky to do that. Like, just in this small stretch, you got Ornstein, that's one. And then you got the Gargoyle and the King, that's three. And then I think in the other part, you have even more of them. 10% out of all the enemies in this area, like, let's say we count in that pit, there's the three, and then there's another three, and then there's the two. It's more than 10% just with those. Just in this one radius. That was a really good attack. Oh, that, that right there would have been the ladder, I think. So I'll block with this right off the bat. Grab is fine, that's cool. Oh man, if there's a strategy ever for this, like I'm actually gonna be so happy. You have no idea. Like if there's something, there's just something in general, dude. Like look, whatever the hell just happened there, that's nice. Okay, we made it. So he can still get us, but we made it though, like a second. But now's the real story. This is the real thing where it actually begins. Uh, Cause now I gotta fall back down here again. Oh, actually we, we made it out. Oh, okay, well not completely, but we made it somewhere. Uh, there's no bonfire in here cause this game sucks. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go down there anyways. I was gonna go around. So that's where we enter. We need to go up the hill here. All right, so we come out over here and then there's all sorts of problems in this area. Th this area by itself is very scary. I hear someone running. Oh shit, okay, good thing. <gasps> Yo, wait a second, wait a second. Dog, dog alert. I don't like that. These things are ridiculous. This is actually like the nemesis of the run if we had one. The, the hitboxes don't actually make sense and it doesn't have to touch you to kill you. So it's like double bonus. Even the movement doesn't make sense. Yo, yo, get away, dude. Run. Okay, this is where it gets sketchy because I try to run. I try to heal and then maybe it, yeah, it chases. <sighs> We're gambling here though. It's fun living on the edge, man. So that's the thing. Like you guys could be like, oh, well, I would just reset. But like then you would never have an experience that's as lively as this. Like the thrill of being so close to just fucking this all up is amazing. Especially because like we're not even close to done yet. There's still so much more stuff. <laughs> like just to get out of here. Oh, there's a, he's got fire too. Question is, do we kill the guy over here? I have an idea actually that would work really well. Oh, the butcher's there. No, the butcher. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Dude, that might be like really, really scary. Um, I don't like that animation, dude. That's really fucking stupid. <laughs> Why does it do that? All right, dead. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, direct hit, nice. Oh, he get, dude, he he input reads projectiles, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's, he's like an earlier enemy. That's crazy, dude. So, okay, there's gotta be an escape plan too on this. So my, my goal is to get into the upper area and then be able to fall back into this area if something really bad happens. And the only thing that can get in the way of that is getting hit through a wall or enemies blocking things. Preferably not having bosses replace regular enemies would be, be amazing. This is scary too. Now, these are the th these things actually were really hard to deal with in the DLC when I was doing the Hitless run, because they they have sneaky attacks as well. Like that, that's wild, isn't it? And then the back stuff. Oh, <gasps> yo, that's invisible, dude. Oh, <gasps> yo, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It was the one from above. Okay. 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 Chill. Wait. Where's the fucking heal? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Got so unlucky on this. Yeah, so something's going really wrong here. There's an enemy that does, isn't showing up that's just blowing itself up over and over again. So the bullet head guy's gone from there. And then this room, the other guys were from this room, I think that I killed, they fell down. There is one more in this part. There's a worm and there's something else, I believe. Kind of feels like playing Dark Souls for the first time. This feels even scarier than playing it for the first time to me. Because at least when I play it the first time, I'm like, yeah, you could die, it's no big deal. Like this, like we die, then... <laughs> oh, is that Gwyn? Oh, fuck, dude. Gwyn's above there. Gwyn's above the ceiling. Okay, that's really bad. This really sucks. Okay, let me quit out one more time just to get my bearings for everything. Like, just to get, get <laughs> situated. Okay, so we're running. We're hoping Gwyn doesn't catch up. These guys are T-Pose and, and dead. The head explodes guys are going to be scary. Gwyn is stuck somewhere. Um, this is unknown. This is completely unknown. Uh, oh, big mushroom. Whoa, boy. Okay, okay. And there's a fog gate. And what's over here? <gasps> Dude, the bridge is blocked. How do we... Oh, no. How do we do it? Oh, is there, a, is there a thing? Is there a device? Blacksmith bonfire. Yo, boy. Okay, is there a dog behind me? <gasps> Where are we going, dude? Who's that? Who that boy? Who he is, man? Fucking Tyler the Creator. Let's go. 
Oh, the busher. Oh, the big guy. Oh, back into here again, and that's just a loop, but the bridge now is... Whoa. Okay, wait, that's not even the right way. This is back over here. We don't want this. We don't want this. We don't... Yo. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god, dude. It's just, it's just the dog. It's just, oh my dog. This dog is uh, infinitely chasing. I don't know how to... No, no, don't, 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 don't try, don't try, don't try, don't try, don't try, don't try, don't even try, don't even try. The aggro. Got stuck for a second. Um, stuck, okay. Uh, mushroom guy running. Okay, he fell. We're good. We, he tripped. Tripping mechanics. Uh, he's confused. The uh, kill him. <laughs> I don't remember how to go through the area up here, apparently. I thought I'd be fine. Um, oh, no, I didn't want to jump there. That was a mistake. I squeezed the controller and jumped. <laughs> Let's see if the file works. <laughs> okay, so we're on the title screen. It should load just by having it quit up, but I might have to actually restart the game just to double check. And see yeah it worked nice okay we're good and okay now we're gonna actually get a real idea of of like how impossible it might have been or if it wasn't even that bad like maybe i was pretty close to being able to do it anyways because we're not really far from where we need to be we're not at all it's just it's gonna be wild to edit oh i feel really bad for you because this it might actually take me like 20 to 40 hours to do this run i don't know <laughs> like if it gets worse than this later i don't know <laughs> but like even the the blacksmith bonfire wouldn't matter here actually i just realized that Oh, the, dude, the butcher's on that. What? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna run the dog around here. Oh, it's going through. Dude, it bit me through the box. I don't like that, but the quit out. Let's see. We're almost there. Like, we're very close here. Uh, anything can happen because I have to stand up, but, like, again, they can attack immediately. Let's, let's just see. We got it. <laughs> oh man, this is so close. So close, dude. And that's gonna kill me. Be oh, 48. <laughs> Killed by a mushroom. Poisoned, dead, and also stuck inside the ground at the same time. What? <laughs> no, dude, why? Okay, so this dude threw a spear before, and let's see, do we get another one? Uh, oh yeah, there was that right there too. I, th I still think I can die right before I hit the bonfire because there was a rat blocking it from being accessible and we can't run right out to fire link yet. So I'm gonna pop this humanity and then, yeah, here's the rat. Perfect. Okay, thank God, dude. <laughs> we did it. We did it, man. Oh my God. I don't even want to explain what happened yesterday, so I'm gonna pretend it didn't happen, and we're gonna run out of here. Question is, can I make it out of here? We never actually. Oh. <laughs> we never. We never considered that. <laughs> and the snake's gonna get me. Oh. Whoa. Yep. There we go. Oh, he, did he fall? Whoa. There we go. Okay. Now we should be fine. Should be able to escape. Unless Gwyn is in the graveyard right here, because Gwyn could probably gap me through the wall from like wherever he is uh we oh we have a king and we have priscilla over there dude there's so many of the 10 percent chance for the enemies to turn into a boss happening where it's like way more than 10 percent oh man i haven't seen quayleg yet and i haven't seen iron golem so now we're actually stuck as cursed unless i go through undead berg and i buy the purging stone from the merchant over here which is the only other option i can think of so we could try that and see uh, i'd have to go to capper demon and then run by the the fog gate Oh, that dog didn't kill me. Nice. He could, oh, shit. That's going to be really hard. See if I can jump through this. Nope. Is that guy dead? <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> Wait, we have regular Taurus demon. So that's the first non-randomization. Or it randomized back on itself. And the health is still pretty crazy. <laughs> the damage we're doing. Wait, with a plus five, I'm only hitting 96. Is that actually how it goes in the regular game? Or is he buffed or something? Oh, you know what? It's because I'm used to doing it uh, with, um, like, l way later in the game. Once we, once we already have something that's a bit better. Like, the Battle Axe plus five does more damage, too. It's a creepy humanity at the top watching. 
So yeah, at least it randomized the enemies in there. Random items would be easier. I actually said, um, and that's the funniest part. I literally realized yesterday that if I shuffled the items, even the key items, this run would be easier, which makes no sense because usually it's, you'd think the more randomization, the harder. It, it, it would have actually made it easier because we would have probably been able to just go and scrounge for different items and at least find maybe like a pyromancy such as Power Within. Uh, the Blacksmith Hammer would be available presumably at some point. Uh, upgrade materials and then like um, maybe buying souls for cheaper than they actually pop for to just always have some sort of reserve. There'd be a couple different things that'd be nice. Unless maybe the difficulty curve of the item randomization was also pretty brutal, but... And then also you could just make every single thing the worst enemy, and then just, you know, you have hundreds of the Gwyn or something like that. No way, no way. <laughs> You're not doing that. You're not getting me. There's just, there's, it's not happening. Oh shit, man. Oh. <sighs> There's a king that's inside the freaking waterway? Wait, what? So I, I might not even be able to talk to the merchant because I'll get killed trying to talk to her. Okay, so yeah, it does It does just keep getting worse. There is actually no end to this. I can't even predict how bad it's gonna be. Can you set it so it's all, oh. Wait, what? Dude. Did, did the king kill the merchant? Did she just die? because he attacked me there. I just heard, dude, I, that's her death that dialogue, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he just killed the thing that we were trying to go to get to, to get the, like, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, he's stuck in the wall too, and then. <sighs> you did ask if it could get worse, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's funny even if we made it, like, like <laughs> because she might not even be alive. So either, like, what we're doing right now is just literally trying to go back to where we were. So all this progress doesn't matter. Like even opening the thing, the Solaire thing maybe could matter, but I really don't want to summon him if I don't have to. So this is literally just a long way of going back to right where we were. Can't help but laugh at the absurdity. Oh, that, that's good. I'm hoping this is, is entertaining. It's also painful too. <laughs> yeah, I think the merchant's dead, dude. That's crazy. Well, at least if I open this, and get back to Capra Demon a little bit easier. And also I'm trying to do all bosses on this too. This isn't just gonna be any percent. I'm, I'm actually trying to do everything. It's also been a little bit since I played the game normally. So it's like, a, I'm trying to remember some of these things too. Like a, like the Vagrant, for example, that popping up, that's something that you wouldn't really even see in the regular game. That's not an enemy that's predetermined, right? Oh dude, why? <sighs> I should have quit out. Got Red Tear Stone set up. I don't know if I'll make it through here, but hey, you know what? Let's try. Please don't shoot me with lightning. Please don't shoot me with lightning. Ooh. Okay. I can hear the dog. Dog killed me. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we're taking the long. Whoa! Yep, I just have to block one more. Oh, the lightning guy again, dude. I gotta quit out at that door, that's crazy. I don't like this. Ugh, no, dude. Ah, Neo would have been like cooler in 2010. Like, Why is that? Oh, maybe because it was a counter hit? Oh man. That was, yeah, that was a no-go. Dude. Oh, I didn't have the, the stamina. Ah, I should have done that. I thought I could hit him again. Ah, almost had the stamina. Get hit by that? No, that's gonna kill me. Yo, oh, I can't quit out. Dog, no. Yo, I love it. What the fuck? Remote access, dude. Miyazaki is in the office, guys. He's modifying the game real time. Like we're literally seeing things happen that have never happened before every second that, that goes by. Okay, nice. It's hard to explain how fun it is. It's, it's very interesting. Um, that we actually did first try. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, so from here, this is where we get out to the bridge, I think, right? Uh, there is that guy. Bridge is already rotated. We have to go around and somehow we have to rotate it, then fall through the thing. So I think we're, we're getting pretty close here. That guy's super dangerous. That's a, that's a bad one. Do this and then maybe it'll stay like that. Get into the corner here for a second. Roll out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Got really lucky that this guy's not active. He's not trying to do the lightning. And if we actually make it to the blacksmith it, in this instance right here, I'm surprised. Because this this part's way easier than everything else we've been doing. So I jump in here, I think. Uh, Whoa. Oh, Gwyn is in there. Gwyn is in there, dude. Gwyn's in there. Dude. <laughs> Why is Gwyn in there? <laughs> no. 
Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's fine. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. He's not going to kill me. Like, he can't see me, right? It's a little bright. I might have to kill him. Uh, it could take a while. Oh, there's another... Oh, shit. Okay, I moved him out of the way. Uh, let's see. Are we going down here? Whoa. And then fall damage. Uh. <gasps> it's been a really long time since I've gone down to this area. I think it's probably been at least, I want to say, five years or something. <laughs> like, four years. Okay, we got to go down here. And then I don't know if there's anything in the blacksmith room that will kill me. Is the cutscene, at least the wall's open now. We got the shortcut. Sketchiest NPC ever. <laughs> so finally, we got plus five. This is going to make Manus a little bit easier. So this is why I wanted to do this right away, is just get plus five. Now we're going to do, it's not going to be too much more damage, but it'll be enough where it'll take off a significant amount of hits with red tear stone activated. I could probably write a novel on what's happened so far, just in terms of the irony. It's like everything we, we could access to, to help is impossible. So this is basically, we're soft locked at Manus. I could try to do Capper Demon specifically. I could do the depths, but I don't think it matters right now since it would be way easier if I got a better weapon and went back later, right? Will this be on YouTube? Yes. So this run will be edited down to about two to three hours on the main channel with all of the best deaths and funny moments, maybe some memes. And then the uh, second channel, we're gonna try to try our best to get it to the maximum upload size, because I think that the amount of time it's gonna take to beat this is gonna be over 12 hours. And YouTube allows you to do 12 hours or 200 and something gigs, whatever comes first. If I downsize the quality, I could probably do 14 hours for it on the second channel. We'll see how, we'll see how long it takes. I have to basically just, I think I get hit by the swipe with uh, this armor on. Oh, that still kills me. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Can't really do anything about that, but... Oh, that's the one that comes down right away. Fuck. This dog with the Black Knight is the worst, dude. Oh, that guy got stuck. Joe blocking. Okay, never mind. Whew. No. Just being healthier. Oh, God. For the results. Oh. Don't get cursed again. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Like, I got way, way stronger. Yo! Ah, damn it. Oh, no. No! Let me go by. Let me go by, dude. No. Ah, oh, no. First again. <laughs> Wait, do we... Do we... Whoa. No, it was the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you can't roll through that, dude. He called it from out there, damn it. Dude. Oh, that was just overhead. No, dude, I rolled at the last second. Oh, dude, Taurus hit first, damn it. It's too late because that. Yep, that sucks. Oh, baby. It's a PB. Ugh. No, what? Magic's invisible. Fuck. I really gotta know the cues. No, why, why is the hitbox so broken on that, dude? Oh, I didn't wanna block that, damn it. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Anything are good. Ah, damn it. And the. Oh, fuck. Let's see, he slams. Oh, dude. Oh, come on. So Taurus is trying to jump here. Oh, D what? Ah, predicated on just being one of the best. That's insane. He's never attacked before. Oh, no. Snake dude's already in the hall. Oh, the dog's fucking right there. <gasps> oh, don't poke, don't poke, don't poke. Okay, he's not active. Nice. Oh, the dog through the fucking staircase, dude. No. That's why I can survive this run because I'm, I'm using the. Oh. Never mind. I'm using the source code of Steam. I'm hacking it. I'm gonna do that for the first time in a while. Death. All oh, the dogs there too. I got right to your stone from one from one hit. There we go. Have you considered restarting the whole thing? Not even close. Horse jump. Manus magic. No, the fucking stupid hitbox on that hammer is dumb. Whoa. Whoa. No. Come on. Oh, yo. It's always just trapped on the left side. Ooh. Oh, that's, oh, I should have rolled there at the last second. Oh, dog caught up. Nice. Oh, dude. Just through his body. Ah, oh, see. Ooh, uh, I can't see. Yo. Okay. I'll give you another little bit of a, oh. Oh. Oh, rip. Ah. Oh, man. I had a little bit of health missing there, apparently. Oh, no. Damn it. From what I heard. Oh, that's stupid. Yo. Oh my god, the quit out was so fast there, but I, I still couldn't get it. No, dog there. Ah, oh, see, the combo. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. So, okay, that's a scenario where 
I couldn't have told you that was gonna happen because I, I would never do that. Another lesson of the day, do whatever you do, the way that you do it, enjoy it. Don't let the uh, perception of being bad because you're learning something, uh, you know, take away from it. And don't let the other opinions, like unless it's actually cr constructive criticism you, you are benefiting from creatively, uh, dictate anything. But also be open to criticism too, obviously. And you can give yourself some if you're able to see it. And this is like impossible now. <gasps> Yo, you can dodge it from far away. Whoa, that's new. I just learned something crazy. I've never done that in my life, dude. I've tried to figure out for the longest time, can you do that in the actual fight? So now I want to try that on the, on the real fight. Dude, it separates at a certain distance. You have like a little gap. You can space it. And then at least the magic is visible this time too. That's good. That alone is nice. This might be bad. This might be a little tight. <laughs> at least Taurus is kind of slow. Ooh, over the head. Okay, that's good. That's good. I didn't actually predict that. That was a little scary. <laughs> Dude, I did it! Yo, Man Serpent at the Fog Gate, what? Yo, <laughs> this is wild. I'm I'm actually like blowing my own mind right now. This is just with, because it's just, it's funny. Like the likelihood of these things is so slim. This is actually funny, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. If I saw someone else do that, I'd freaking be screaming a little bit. Oh, there's lightning coming through the wall now, so I gotta be careful here. Uh, it looks like it's hitting the inside because the Man Serpent's blocking, which is cool. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Nice roof block, okay. Stamina management, thrust attack, I can run in on that one. Kneecap. Uh, this is, again, just fine. Just go from a distance. Yo! Yes, 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 yes. Space. Beautiful. Manus is being weird. The weirdness is good. I like it. I like the weirdness. Yo, the weirdness is fucking sponsoring the stream today, guys. Yes! Taurus Demon's dead. PB. Okay, let's go. Now let's finish this. And then we just don't want lightning through the fog gate, but we'll see. I think we're good. Okay, we also, there's one other thing we don't want too. It's gonna make some space. Don't want runaway magic with a wall in front of us and no way to circle him. Finger pop, nice. Okay. Ugh. Nice, that lightning is just going constantly. It's funny. I'm just gonna go for singles on this now just to be careful. Running in, magic became invisible. Sketchy. Uh, could have probably punished that, I just don't want to with invisible magic. So just gotta be aware. Again, he can do some wonky things with the jump. Careful. Uh, this is punishable here this time. Walk away nice and steady. Beautiful. Little elbow punish. Uh, that's run away. And then if he casts walk in right back to back, we have to run. There we go. Okay. Cool. This is a nice double punish here. Just gonna chill for a second. Nice. Don't want to circle into the wall. Don't like the angle of that at all. Double roll for spacing in case. Nice. Okay. Let's run away. Oh, just gotta peel around. Beautiful. <sighs> that was that was that was a time, dude. We live in a society. That was a time. <laughs> I like that there is the play-by-play. -play. That's it's gonna make a very nice tutorial if you ever get this seed or you want to use it yourself. <laughs> So my heart rate's not like super high right now, but I feel a little like, uh, you know, like when you've ran or like you've done a lot of cardio and you feel that like burning feeling, you almost kind of feel sick. I feel a little sick right now. <laughs> oh, dude, wait, we should have ran back down through the building. We're kind of far away now. So we got Sen's Fortress open. It took me literally, I want to say 12 out of the 14 hours we've been playing at least 10 to 12 hours to just get that one bell rung so I could open this door because the second bell was already rung. Oh, we got a Basilisk. Dude, the curse is everywhere. Why? Oh, I don't like that already. That's crazy. We've seen three Basilisks so far. It's a little silly. Oh man, we got the freaking got the stone giant. What? So we're going to get Tranquil Walk a piece into Curse because we won't be able to run. And then like a Pendulum will knock me off and kill me even though it's already cursed at that point just to rub it in my face. That's the worst scenario here. So I probably won't use the Large Titanite in this run, but just in case for Gwyn particularly, let's say we have a randomization on ONS and two of the enemies are Gwyn or we have like a double Gwyn fight of some sort. I want... What? Yo! That's crazy. I want a Chaos Ember probably. And I want um, Reinforced Club with Chaos, I think. Not going to upgrade the Axe. The Axe actually is upgraded. 
I can't get a uh, higher upgrade because Andre's dead. And uh, we are about to get another weapon right after this part, which will not be using regular Titanite. So I can get that one probably to plus five right away since the NPCs still have the regular items. Oh, shit. Dude, Pinwheel's invisible. Will this go on YouTube or do you... I have to go back into the VOD? Who the hell is this? Oh, wait, what? I, what is... Is this thing the thing from New Londo? It, dude, it looks like... Uh, looks like Nido with back problems on a really bad day. It looks like Nido has, like, kind of deconstructed himself into a bunch of pieces and then just... They reformed into Jello and wore the black hem robes at the same time. My fan of action movies. You saw Beekeeper last night with Jason Statham and it was awesome. I do like action. It just depends on what movies. So, like, James Bond movies are pretty cool. I like those ones. Um, I like Mich some of the Mission Impossibles. Stuff like that, I guess, would be the... Like, my favorite kind of action movie. And obviously just like the superhero movies and stuff. Wait, what's, what is Beekeeper? Is that like Jason Statham's just in a beekeeping job and then he just <laughs> fucks up a bunch of people with bees? <laughs> it's basically John Wick. John Wick is cool too. I like John Wick. But the thing with John Wick is like, it's, it's a, you, you kind of go into it knowing it's a little ridiculous. Obviously, like, I think that the best kind of action to me is when it's something you actually could believe is possible. Like, if the, if a lot of the scenes are like, oh, like, that is, that's 100% feasible and that's actually kind of realistic. And it keeps that tension and that suspense. Like, John Wick, I have no doubt in my mind, no one's going to kill John Wick. Like, it's just, well, except for himself, right? He'll give up when he gives up. Four cars, the only car you've been on is a bus. I've been on the bus many times. I remember those days, dude. I remember taking two buses to get to work every day. And li literally, like, I was going to try to do a taxi, but then I wouldn't even make money because it was not enough. So, you know what? One day, who knows? Maybe you will own a bus just for fun. It'll just be like your own bus. You'll just drive by yourself. <laughs> you, can, you can get back at the bus by being the bus. <laughs> Whatever we just had there was was really easy. I was saying, like, as soon as we get past Manus, I'm going to go right to ONS, and then ONS might be the next point where it's, like, really hard to progress. So I'm just trying to get as much possible done. If, if for some reason, like, it is technically possible that I can beat the game um, and then go and do the extra stuff before we're even done. But that means... It's got to happen within an hour and a half or like an hour, 20 minutes, <laughs> which is insane. So like, I'm going to see if we can do as much of the any percent as possible. We'll save Gwyn and then I'm going to go right to the DLC, not even do the uh, the easy optional stuff. We'll just go right to the DLC because it's a lot more linear in terms of you just walk up one single boss, more open areas, probably easier to, to navigate. And we've already seen Manus. So it's like, what am I going to experience in the DLC that's worse than that? You know, Manus again or... <laughs> I'm, I'm claiming this is the worst randomization of enemies you could get for a level one run. And if anyone wants to try to like one up it, like please share it with me so I can just change that statement because I don't even know from what we saw in the early game, how, how like it even could get worse, right? Like, even this, this is just funny. This is even worse than the DLC because we have to do the stupid uh, little rafter thing. And then there's a dog, right? Oh my, that's one shot, nice. You want to see me fight two Manuses at the same time? Two Manuses at the same time would be very tricky because of the amount of health he has. So if I could do a lot of damage, I 100% I think you could survive two Manuses for probably like three or four minutes in a row. But like if you had to do a fight that's 10 to 15 minutes long or something, I feel like that's how long it would take with the damage we were doing already. And then the fact that like he can jump and he can reach you from so far that you can't engage in most situations. I don't know what that was. Oh, Calamite's on the fucking walkway, dude. What? <laughs> I didn't see the fire coming towards me. <laughs> no bullet train, fire on the ground, death, nice. Oh, this is bad. Rip, can't heal there. Okay, Twinkling Titanite's 8,000. So what we have to do... Oh wait, does he have the weapon smith box? This might be a problem. Oh, he does, thank God. Okay, so we have to get the smith box. I have to buy all the Titanite, then I gotta kill him. I'm gonna kill him, and then we'll just find some more Twinkling Titanite from a lizard or something like that. Do I watch a lot of soul streams? I actually don't watch Twitch, to be honest, man. I don't use it as entertainment. And I try to just really not watch a lot of gaming content in general because, I mean, we're gonna be playing games anyways, right? Nice. What am I doing? I'm trying to get the blacksmith hammer. Now we got a good weapon. Okay, I have to take the armor off now though. So we're we're gonna definitely be using red tear stone and doing hitless strats, you know, if the armor's not enough. <laughs> oh man, we got Taurus Demon and Ornstein still. Oh boy. And I'm getting killed. Oh, red tear stone set up. Oh, dead. <laughs> That went from like, it went from like kind of like, like I'm not really hopeful to like being more hopeful that I got the red tear stone so I can do damage and quickly kill them to it, just dead. Dude, they can friendly fire each other. I can get Taurus Demon to kill him, dude. That's cool. What's happening here? <laughs> yeah, we got C. Oh, dude, getting cursed again, imagine. We got the right weapon for him though. Oh, when he does big AOE, I gotta run. This is gonna be scary. I don't know if I'll be able to get out of there. Boom. 
Oh, he's about to... Dude! What? Oh, I thought he was going to do the AoE. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was like, wait, maybe I'm thinking it's that, but he's dying. And then I'm like, I don't remember him dying like that. I guess it's been a while. <laughs> wait, do we have the lan we have the lantern for this part, don't we? I don't really need it, but it might be smart. Is we're Whoa, we're going random. Where is this? Oh, what? The Dude, I can see. Oh, shit. Oh, we didn't place the Lord Vessel yet. Sorry, I got to go back and place it. Your guess is that you use a tactical mule to beat Manus and Taurus? A tactical mule? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That sounds crazy. That sounds like magic where you create an animal and it just plows through everybody. <laughs> like the lightning ram on Elden Ring, but like you just like, boom, cast it. Oh, tactical nuke. Okay. The autocorrect was kind of funny there. Rat, dude, whoa! Ratatouille just glitching behind me. Dude, what's going on here? Gonna upload this to YouTube. This will be on both YouTube channels. So the full video, it'll probably have, I'll have to cut out at least a handful of hours from this whole thing to make it possible to upload on the second channel as one video. But there will be like a 12 to 14 hour version on channel two. And then channel one will have an edited version that's about three hours. And it's going to have a lot of memes and jokes and like little funny cuts and stuff like that to make it a bit more entertaining. There's just so much material in this one. It's just ridiculous. Whoa. Still have the skeletons. Guardian with uh, lightning, not so good. This is a really bad fight too, man. Wow. And we still got big, big boys. Oh, shit. Oh, I have fo do I have fog ring? No, I don't. Oh, you know what we could do? Okay, I have an idea. We gotta go back to Anorlando and get the Occult Club. And then, oh, I can't descend it though, because Andre's dead. Oh, that's that's brutal. Can you can you descend the Occult Club with the Giant Blacksmith? He's dead too, though. <laughs> that's wild, okay. So this one's very doable, but that's scary though, because the only other weapon that can kill the skeletons that I know of is the axe that Patches has, but I don't think we can, we don't have the stats to use it. So a leveled character could get away with that. I need something with a holy modifier, and I can't ascend anything too divine, but I can't descend a cult either, as far as I know. Blacksmith and New Londo? Can Black th can the New Londo one descend? If they have an ember, they can. Okay, so I'm gonna check out, uh, let's see. We can go for Capper Demon. If I do Capper Demon and then get the ember from the depths, I still can't give that to Andre though. Ooh, that's a really bad enemy. Dude, every enemy in here is just particularly weird. Does Calamite respawn if you kill him? I believe he does, yeah. Any single enemy that's replaced by a boss, I feel like they do respawn. Um, I might be wrong, though. Like, we could test that. Oh, wait, he dropped the occult. What? Oh, it's because, okay. So mimics also count as enemies even when they're not activated. So he he was like a chest. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on there? I'm going to grab Havel's armor just because uh, I'm going to get Havel's ring as well. We're going to go kill him, so I might as well have it just in case I need to survive on four kings. It's probably better than the stone armor. And then the occult club, again, need to find a way to descend it. If I can do that, that's perfect. Um, but I think, I believe you can't do it yourself at the bonfire, right? You need like a, a blacksmith, like you said, that has an ember. Yeah, so I have like the white titanite, but I can't take it backwards. <sighs> Let's try to go. Let me see. Well, we'll go to Firelink and I'm going to go to Rickert and see if maybe he does it. If not, we'll go get, well, again, that ember doesn't matter. Where large magic ember is also in archives, which we'd have to go do later anyways. So yeah, Nito's gonna be a later fight. Four Kings is still pretty scary too. Uh, Bed of Chaos, so I could go do the that area. We could check that out before we're done. See if we can get that done in an hour or so. Still just as bad. <laughs> I'll take a crack at uh, a Capper Demon. And then I guess, again, the depths don't matter till later in the game because we don't need the ember. So we'll, we'll just at least try to do Capra, take a break from the main stuff. Since I thought Nito was going to be a straight shot, I thought it was going to be easy. I think the end game will be gate kept a bit more. Yo, I'm getting... Oh, yeah, you can... Oh, shit. This is bad. Yeah, Bone Wheel and that at once stuck inside the other enemy. <laughs> oh, also, this bonfire is not active because the Firekeeper died, so it doesn't even matter if we spawn from here. Okay, so let's see what this dude is up to here. Can you help me? Dude, he can do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now we're fine. We can go do Nito. Perfect. Okay, where's that skeleton at? Dude, Darkwood Green Ring's so much better on... Uh... Specifically Sanctuary Guardian. Ooh. I can't, I couldn't move there. <laughs> Things and you didn't even know. Ratatouille, dude, he's too fast. What the hell, man? I don't know how we're gonna get through this part right here. Just need to get over here now. Ooh. Did I defeat it? I haven't beaten Nito. I'm just trying to go back and uh, have some extra equipment. So I'm getting Havel's ring. And then at least with the heavier armor, like I can roll fast still, or at least medium. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Probably can only wear two, two of the pieces. And then I'm not gonna be using this for many things because obviously I'd rather have the higher damage for enemies that are just focused, but I will do this for Nito for sure. <laughs> oh God. 
just because you think you need to. Nice. <laughs> Stunned into a big skeleton. That's that's terrible. You are now boarding Crow Airlines. Please make sure that all your bags have tags on them and make sure to keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all time. There are dangers such as falling to your death, wind speeds of 520 kilometers per hour, freezing to death from altitudes of 6 million feet, and getting squeezed by the claws of death. All right, so we got Ring of Fog, nice. And then I'm gonna see what's over here. I guess we, we also have to get the doll to go back to the... Oh my God, Manus is in here too? No way, dude, he's gonna block the door? Yo, what? Oh, but now I can't do Darkwood Grain Ring Roll for <laughs> this box. So we definitely should have done this last time, and I did talk about it, but I just wanted to try the other method first. I thought it would be easier for some reason. Poisoned. <laughs> That's pretty... Okay, that is kind of tricky, even even with the circumstances we have. Oh. oh yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> One of humanity... To, oh, come on, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> Calm down. No! Yo! Wow! Oh. Dude, one shot? What? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kindle the bonfire after this one, and I'm going to actually sit at it too. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get the, the wing there. You think that Sanctuary Guardian chicken wings taste good? That was really crazy that we got that. Whoa. No. No stagger on that right after the jump attack, too. I mean, it must have been, like, uh, poisoning because of the, the attack that he did after. Chilling. Chilling. I'm going to try to pop the humanity here. Nice. Ah, uh, that was not that nicest. Can we get something that's good? Cool. Cool. Nice, we got him, finally. Do you not have the favor and protection ring? I don't at the moment, actually. The firekeeper was killed. I didn't quite get to Lautrec in time. <laughs> he escaped to Anne Rolando and I couldn't I couldn't get the favor and protection ring. Is Manus gonna do something funny? How much health does he have? Oh yeah, he's normal. Okay, let's see, are we falling into a hole here? That's wild, dude. Oh my God, we, yo. Only 90 damage on him too? Okay, this fight's impossible. This is like, that's actually bad. So I can't, I can't kill. Okay, yeah, that's crazy, dude. The only way we can do that is I have to kill every enemy in that area first, kill Manus before we drop in. And then also in the same life, if he respawns, obviously I gotta do it again. So in the exact same life as all of that, I have to also kill Stray Demon back to back. So that means when we land, we can't land in the explosion. I have to get the roll recovery. So there's like a lot of things. We could also run to the bonfire. I just don't wanna lock myself in there, right? Because he kicked us down and we didn't go back and kill him. So we get to buy some stuff. Never mind. There's a lot of things like that in this run, unfortunately. <laughs> so I think I can run through here right away and be very quick. Uh, yo. Yo, <laughs> why? I think, I'm, I think I could fight Manus like legit just in this room and then go back right to Stray Demon. Favorite metal band? I don't have a favorite metal band, but uh, my favorite band, like overall, just for music, like and what they're doing in music would be Polythia. Oh shit. I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. I gotta make it out of here! Oh my god. This is really annoying. Uh, yep, that's just really bad, dude. <laughs> nice! Oh, I thought I could get out of that, damn it. Oh shit! No! Dude! Should be able to block that. I oh, still can get out. Uh, quit out the game, load it back in, the ring's there. Dude. That's it. Oh. Dude. He went for a... How? Oh, dude. 
So I don't even know where I'd want to actually, like, dude! Why does he have to do that when I fall down? Oh, this is annoying. I'm stuck on the door. What's going on, Mayo? How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, instant karma. Okay, I'm not going to call you Mayo ever again. <laughs> not super humid, not super warm. Oh, that killed me. Oh, it didn't work. No. Oh my god, dude. Cool that he's got the little humanity guy, though. Because it's like on brand with the DLC. Damn it. It's a little, uh, it's a little yikes. I just don't have the time anymore. Oh, no. I don't think Invincible Seath can be replaced either, so that should still be fine. Oh my god, are you serious, man? I'm an anomaly! Abomination! With an apostrophe! Whoa! Everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> I always like that aspect! Yo, I'm dead. I... That'll work. No, it won't. What? Oh, was that... Get... Did I get hit by the humanity, too? Okay, we gotta make this one count, dude. <laughs> All right, let's do a scan. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, okay. Uh, uh, yo, okay, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. And then I don't know what replaces the Black Knight, but that could be a problem too. So we really need to make it from here to get the uh, the doll so we can get in the Painted World and then we're fine, it's easy. So there's still one more thing after this I have not seen yet, but uh, he should drop a slab. I don't think that matters, but there's that as well. <laughs> What is, oh, it's just one of the Super Mario guys. So let's go and do an Orlando. Oh, I got this this channel open to go to the depths too. So we could actually do the depths now as well. I'm curious of what's going on in there. Oh yeah, we get a, got to do Capra as well. So I never even peeked in the arena, but... Oh shit. Okay, I got the iframes there. Not through the fog gate, please. Pinwheel, that's safe. Who are the dogs? Oh, we got a hollow. Oh, this is easy. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It's all good on this one. Oh, there's still a dog. Never mind. It's not all good, guys. Oh, shit. I can't actually hit any. Yo, are you kidding me? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Outplayed. I almost actually died on that. <laughs> big bonk weapon cannot hit around corners properly. Dead because of too big a weapon. That's the easiest randomization so far, but Capra normally would be fine on this because, again, the dog wouldn't be able to see you. That's the key to the depths. Great axe, uh, Black Knight. Can't parry that. Oh, rip. Got a pinwheel instead of the butcher. Large ember doesn't matter anymore. So I'm not going to grab that because we're probably not going to go with a regular reinforcement weapon. If we do, we can always go and get it. But I don't think we were going to do that. I would even say for Gwyn, unless there's, again, two Gwyns at once, I don't need a Chaos Club at all. I can just do Gwyn with this. Oh, bone wheel in the bottom, dude. That's crazy. That's, oh, yep. <laughs> Rip 70k. Maturing is realizing swords weren't that OP in real life. Yeah, like all that combat was just so brutal. It was like the most savage, in my opinion, because yeah, you're using like hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's melee, but dude, you're wearing such heavy armor. It's like the mobility aspect of it. And the fact that like, who knows what the temperature was outside. Maybe you're out in like the, the, the hot sun in fucking plate armor throwing around gigantic pieces of metal at each other. That's crazy. And then there's like catapults and stuff like that. That's nuts. Um, you know, even like pirates, dude, cannonballs, like getting hit by a cannonball. That's just the, the concept of that is insane. There's so many like savage things back in the day. But yeah, it was definitely, it was more glorified in uh, cinema and like media than, than the actual reality of what some of the things probably or war, war, right? Oh, we got Nito. Okay, Nito's not too bad, actually. And I don't know if the Chandler up there got switched for something with projectiles. I'm gonna guess that's a no. So this is, this is pretty easy. This cutscene. <laughs> the cutscenes look really funny. 8 IQ points or 20k? It's the same thing. Because <laughs> I still hear people sometimes once in a while, they're like, oh, I would love to win the lottery. And I'm like, I'm sure you would, but I wonder if you'd love to win the lottery after you won the lottery. Or like if in retrospect you'd feel the same as you thought it would be when you did. It kind of depends, I think, because again, like that's a long term, like it, it might take a long time to look back and then see that, yeah, that didn't really do like as much as I thought it might. Even if you're pretty responsible and like maybe you have um, like a plan with it, but if you can make impact with that, that's cool. Like if it's something that actually has fulfillment, that's one of the more important parts. So like the utility of the money is cool, but like you'd have to understand that though. If you are thinking of it as desire, right? Like, oh, I need, I have lack of, I am scarce, then you cannot win because you still have to get to the realization of that no matter what, or if you never do, that's that's scary, right? So I don't think any of those questions really, like unless you're telling me it would be, instead of IQ points, maybe like an ability of some sort, like a defined or clear outcome where you can use that ability 
that otherwise would have to be obtained through a lot of time investment in which the time investment wouldn't attribute to so much growth necessarily as much as that actually ability that ability could impact something else then maybe i'd take like an ability of some sort or something that maybe i wouldn't want to invest the time into right now or whatever to define what I iq points would even do wouldn't really that would be really hard to extrapolate because like Again, you can have someone that has 80 to 100 IQ and they could they could find ways to generate a lot of income. There's a guy that can't, can't read or, or write. I think he was near, I don't know if he was a multi, I don't know if it was, he was approaching a billionaire, but he was like a multimillionaire and he did. He said he was very unintelligent. He even said, he's like, I'm not that smart. He's like, you don't need to be smart. You just need to find things that work, right? I think that um, some of the problems that you can solve are super basic. It just depends on time and place and then also um, how, all, like, how much effort you want to put in that idea and if somebody else is also doing that too. Uh, oh, there's a, there's like a little part right there. I wonder. This might not work, but let's see. Oh, no, that's a death camera. It triggers death cam as soon as you fall. I should have plunged the gargoyle for fun. Oh my god, Calamite, don't kill me. Why is that not... Oh, we didn't kill Guinevere. Okay, at least I got the bonfire, though. We're good, so we can work back here. We gotta kill Guinevere. Psychologist? No, this is. we're not really talking about psychology that much right here. Psychology is not that interesting to me. I think there's aspects of it that are cool, but I don't think as a subject it's a good blanket thing to apply to a lot of stuff. It's very, very incomplete and very convoluted in certain cases. But I do, I have studied the university psychology. I have a book. Uh, I did read the all the fundamentals of it. Like when if you were to go to actual school and get it, I picked it up at a store. And it was one of the least interesting books I probably read. I think aspects of psychology in general or what we could attribute to that topic come out in other things. But like psychology as a literature to study, in my opinion, it's not interesting and I would never do it. Unless like, and it's the same thing with like a lot of the things I like, unfortunately. A lot of scientific things in general are not that interesting with the literature. That's not enough. And I think the people, again, that are really passionate in those fields, they get to that that plateau where they're like, oh, I thought this was going to be a lot different this far into it. But there's limitations, right? And then they want more. Now, that's not to say that you can't find it interesting and not be in that position. But I've just, I've heard a lot of cases like that. I know people that are in that position and I've been in that position with just the interest side of it, like purely for entertainment, not even like using it in a in an actual field as such, right? Physical embodiment of chat GPT. <laughs> Dude, if, if chat GPT could be like ran through Neuralink, imagine the possibilities. It's like, you don't even have to use Siri or Google. It's just like, you think, what, where's this? Where's that? What's this? What's that? Boom, instant answer. GPS inside the brain, navigation built in with, with a playlist plays music as well. Femboys don't age well. <laughs> yeah, Gwen Gwendolyn's seen some better days. He's a uh, he's a little little slower than he used to be, and like the I think the inflammatory arthritis is acting up too all over the place. He did he did get some new magic though. Like that explosion's cool. All right, well we got that. That's easy. Mishy, I appreciate that. You mean like the background? <laughs> Actually, it, it turned out to look a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. I'm glad you like it. Can you guess what's on the wall? I'm curious. Level up the hammer? Yes, we gotta get the Twinkling Titanite still. That is true. We got the, uh... oh wait, I have the weapon smith box. Can I use this this thing right here? Oh, dude, what? Oh yeah, we ha we get cursed. I forgot on Seath, so I can use the purging stone. And then apparently we're gonna get killed through the wall. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Dude, can I reinforce this, please? We have six of them now. Oh, God. Dude, this is going far. Oh, my God. Upgrade later. We got to run. <laughs> I think I could do it. I believe, man. I got to kill the uh, the dude over here. Crystal guy is going to try to jump me. No. Okay, these guys did not. Oh, wait. The Vagrant don't res They don't respond? Yo. Are you... How is it? <laughs> What? Where is he shoot? Where is he trying to go from? Your cellmate's crazy, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Back when I was locked up in Tallahassee County, I remember I was in a cell with some crystal dude. It was kind of funny. Kept hiding behind the bookshelf. Didn't say much. Then I turned the corner and I see two crab looking dudes shooting beams of light out of their faces. Before I knew it, I was in heaven. <laughs> Whoa. Have I seen Sora? Uh, no. Isn't that a character from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> like the, the main dude? Why don't you kill it? Uh, the Ulysseal Sorcerer? I probably should, yeah. It's a really good idea. Dude, Capra Demon's so weak. Oh my god. Oh, we got a rat, too. I'm gonna heal this up. Empaths who can semi-mind read? Uh, I would... I would look more at the fact of, like, okay, let's say the brainwave thing they get to the point where they're like, yeah, it's confirmation. There's a language going on. There's some sort of process. I would get more into the details of the root of of how that process is actually unfolding in terms of scalability. So like, let's say someone can actually do it really well and someone else can kind of do it. Like, 
let's try to pinpoint how both people can do it on the same level in terms of scalability with practice of different types of techniques of things or maybe things that need to be addressed and then finding an origin. And that's kind of the idea of like when it comes to, I guess certain certain things we were talking about before, but like on a more like ridiculous macro perspective of, yeah, like if once you can find the origin, then I feel like there's a scalability that's universal specifically. And it's not like a special thing. Is I unir unironically the highest IQ Twitch stream you ever watched, Derwai? What's going on, dude? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just, I like these kind of topics. I like to f um, kind of think about things that are not necessarily common, but more so just topics that are cool like this. Like, it's like, oh, that'd be really cool if you could do that. But yeah, for reading though, specifically, I just pick books I like to read. I don't have a protocol where I have to read a book so often. Uh, there'll be days where like, I'll read a whole book in one day or I'll read like two books like really quickly in a week. Um, there'll be times where I don't read for like literally a quarter of a year other than information just that's online for things and deducing things from sources and trying to take anecdote, anecdotes, trying to like look at literature that's like fundamental for certain things. But when it comes to um, actual like books, like physical books, like uh, there, there can be very long periods where I don't actually read a book. And we were talking about that concept so some people will say that books are useless because you know everything you need to know and you're born with the ability to know everything already in terms of like what's the most important for navigating this type of experience and your intuition will give you the insights on that just by existing in a way that allows you to be clear on it um, obviously experiences need to be generated you do need to fail you do need to struggle you do, the pain is super important all this different stuff but on top of that though a book won't do much for you for what you already can kind of conceptualize with so i still really like reading books but there are tons of books where like i'll get to a point in the book and i'm like okay this is this is to be discarded because i already know this or i know something about this that the perspective of the author doesn't know because they didn't experience certain things that allowed them to write it from that vantage point so therefore I have to discard this because it's going back on the perspective and it's actually, it's it's regressing my perspective to look at it from their perspective, but other things are actually helpful because they have a better perspective on certain things. There's other, there's aspects of like how they look at things that are better. Now, when someone can write something that doesn't have any of that, like where it's purely all just gold, and uh, it would take a really high skilled person to be able to understand it, then that's the best book in my opinion. That's super, That that's the one I'm gonna finish in like one day or two days for sure. Oh. Okay, we got a we got a buggy, <laughs> buggy ceaseless discharge here. Th this is blacksmith grade hammer. Yeah, it's plus five at the moment, and uh, apparently destroying the late game. But I'm I uh, writing for me is pretty easy. Like I, that's one of the things I did really well in. Like for mandatory subjects, creative writing, and then just um, like English as a subject in general was my best. Sub is better than math specifically. I can write specifically well, but to write a book's a different thing. It's it's like I'm gonna write a book. What's the point of the book? Who's gonna maybe it's free, maybe it's paid for. Who's who's gonna pick that book up essentially? What's it gonna do for them? And what's the point of me writing it? Like what do I get out of it rather than just money or attention for writing the book, right? Because I wouldn't write a book that's fantasy specifically, even though. That stuff's kind of interesting. I would write it more as like a thing that's more practical or things that are like what I like to read. I'm actually going to quit out on this and I'm going to go back in and see if this dude's active because there might be a thing where they de-aggro because of the arena, but maybe I can reload him. Not not every single thing is frozen. Some things are just based on the arena. Okay, now he's not. Perfect. So we just have to quit out. This is regular Smo though. The whole area had its AI broken. <laughs> yeah, I w dude, I wish I did the quit out on um, Ceaseless, even though, again, it wouldn't be too hard, but just... Sorry about that. Long-term attention can't handle reading books or watching a series or even movies. Like attention scalable as well. So that, that's the thing. It's like, if you say, hey, this is me, this is what things are and you're spacing it at the current moment you arrive in, the state you're in, what you're doing essentially in terms of like time and manifestation, like we'll just use like the future as an example. You're basically kind of putting a message into the, um, where, wherever and you're telling yourself even on a subconscious level that's me i'm gonna be like meeting up with that expectation or what that standard is that i believe it in, in in the future time and it's gonna keep happening that you keep feeling that way right but like let's say you don't believe that your attention is at its peak and you could change it which is just like some people would just say common sense if they if they always like changing things and they're really like excited for change but for someone that might, like, again, be rooted in external reality being dictated and identification being super, super hard and fastened and unchanging, then you almost have to be willing to experiment a little bit and be like, okay, like, what are some things that maybe improve the attention? Because attention is actually all there is, really. Nothing actually happens unless there's intention. So your focal point on everything is really paramount. And, like, even, like, unanimously, I do believe we have a collective conscious nature, kind of like when people were saying they're starting to think that brainwaves being transmitted to each other are like a, it's like an invisible language. There is some level of connected with that too and I think that your attention being on certain things and other people's attention being on certain things unanimously in small pockets actually
actually can change the balance of things for the better as well, which is really interesting because there's, there's a lot of ripple effects. If you believe in butterfly effects, that's a simple way of saying it. But there's also a quality to that that we don't even necessarily know that could be pretty powerful, presumably. That's, that's what I would think. But even on a basic level, like maybe more people thinking a certain way, the byproduct of that without even focusing on it just creates so many better ripples that you don't even realize how good it is. And yeah, maybe in like hindsight in the future, we, we will be hearing stuff like that in science. I don't know, like as thought experiments, essentially. People who are apathetic or forever able to show emotion to learn trait from actions. Uh, I, have a, I have a question to ask you in return for that. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's funny. <laughs> He died. So um, you're saying, do you think that people are in apathy, like it's like a learned thing or it's something that you're born with? Uh, either way, the better question would be for yourself. Can you agree that there are different states that exist? Like, and can you also identify with even someone that might be in apathy now or was that there was a change in the state to some degree where there was a different feeling or a different sense of something at some point? And like that alone is a good enough thing to, I think, identify that there is a scalability to that, too. And so again, like I, I, I know this from experience of just my own personal life, maybe other people can't relate, that there's a gigantic range. There's an upper and a lower range specifically, and you can't actually get into different ranges very easily. So even artificially, you could probably try to convince yourself like, oh yeah, put on the best. Like people use the term like, oh, you should be more positive. I agree with that. But then there's like a two, there's, it's a double-edged sword. And also even toxic positivity is a thing where it's, it comes from inauthenticity in and not acknowledging things that are going on internally as well. So when, that's met perfectly and there is a general positive uptick yeah you can scale up or down i feel in states but you're so unlikely to believe much in general or have the will to do much in apathy that it's very easy to understand why someone would believe there's no such thing as an ability to change it because that is a really hard point to escape in general even incrementally there are way easier jumps in my opinion at a higher state than that and then there's literally no such thing as skipping like most of it you can't go from one to the other very quickly without the help of maybe somebody that gives you a very big boost but even then there's no like straight speed run skip for this stuff you need to kind of take your time and try to you know implement strategies that slowly go through that and even through like there's some people that have messaged me before that are in like severe depression specifically even people that unfortunately have considered like you know that they don't want to be here and even just through talking to them and also relating to being in that place at points in time as well like anyone that like took some basic information that i felt helped me specifically and in their very like easy things within literally like three weeks two to three weeks they're like i don't feel like that anymore and like looking back on that it's crazy that that you know like i'm really glad that helped but i don't and they want to thank me but i'm like well just remember that like the reason that it was so difficult is because you maybe never had a a, a, a point of interest because you're in that state for so long to realize that it's very influenced by a lot of things and that doing the things that change it don't feel like they actually matter anyways but it's still better than just you know succumbing to that so the will has to supersede it has to be it has to go beyond the will has to be so powerful and that's a hard thing so i i don't blame anybody that might think that certain things are really hard to change it's very difficult but once you do it and i think if you do it well and you do it like at a level that's healthy you will never be able to like see it the same way again and i'm sure like so these people like when they get back into that state if they do i don't think they should i, I really wish that them to not be in a bad state but like let's say they do it's it's way quicker to pull yourself out of it and you have tools now that you've you've created it's like a game it's like a video game like you again you have an algorithm you have a code that's being formed through at in input interfacing all this stuff but then there's a thing that's a little bit above code in in my opinion that might actually help you more and it's actually more simple as well it's less chaotic more simple like less burdened and uh it it's a, has a much lighter feeling to it that's my personal take if we're gonna like just weigh the option of thinking like oh yeah this thing popped up and it, and it sucks i'm or this thing popped up and it's like it's trying to protect me from the ego standpoint or this thing popped up it's trying to keep me from be, getting hurt maybe there's a risk to it or this thing's trying to do this whatever but you know that it has a quality to it that is either helpful or not when you really look into it we got centipede demon inside the arena for this and i'm starting to think that even freeing that hand might have been a mistake because I, I feel like i'm gonna have to kill the centipede demon to win so yeah, last time the bug became an, another enemy and escaped to the center of the, the tree here. So I ran into it and then there's nothing there. This might be very bad. I, I think that, hmm, maybe we try to get him to fall before I free another hand. He's going to try to run. I think we can dunk it. I, th we, I believe we did that last time on the jelly bean run, right? Just, oh, God.
not what you want to hear, but maybe something you need to hear. I'm not the one to dictate that though, because I don't I don't necessarily have the 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 point of interest or influence in 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 that that whole thing unfolding. It might be something that you arrive at, or you, you maybe you don't. Maybe you arrive at different things. I don't know. Maybe you teach me something. I have no clue. So I can't say that. What happens if we chill here? Uh, I see what happens. Nothing crazy though. Like that's actually not that dangerous. This might actually be the better way to do it because the arms can't reach in this part, but I freed one. So I'm surprised it's not harder right now. I'm so glad that we did the jelly bean run before this because I would have literally gone and freed the arms and tried to do the fight normally, then realized the same thing after that we lit, like we're just making it harder. <laughs> oh, in the water too, actually. Let me get over here. This is pretty rough. Oh man. Oh, Artorius at full health. Let's go. I don't know where the best place would be to fight him at this point, because like the ground's not even even here. He's got a lot of health too. Jeez. So he's not actually a boss fight. We don't have to do him to beat everything in the game technically. We could just run to Dusk. I could try to escape him. It's an option. And then just free Dusk from the thing with a quit out after. Oh, that might be the better idea. Bait him to fall. I could also try to get him to fall too. Can run him down to the other area and see if that works first. Okay. I'm gonna try one more thing as well. I'm gonna see if he gets stuck here. Let's see how quickly we can kill this goal and then we'll just try to fight him normally. I do like the fight. He's my favorite boss. Oh my god, there's crystal guys over there too. Okay, we need to spawn in Dusk over here, I think. Artorius actually does have to be killed because Dusk doesn't spawn without that. Dude, that sucks. I keep forgetting because like, again, anytime I'm in here, I don't look at the Hydra as like a regular enemy. But dude, look how fast he is though. That's insane. He's so quick. It's gonna be a really, really tight fight, man. <laughs> Easy red tier stone setup. I don't even want to use red tier stone on this because I some of the rolls aren't the same. Like only near the shore can I do the darkwood grain ring roll. So I should probably just take that off altogether. Like if this doesn't work out, I'll, I'll have to find something that works. But I could trade it for steel protection or havels and put something on. The poise though, if I get enough poise, that might kill me even sooner because it'll just keep me locked into something that would normally knock me over. I know on Sif that happens quite a bit. Or like the poise is actually more dangerous. Inside voices. Inside voices only. Dead. Nice. That Hitless God Room was legit. That was a really cool one. I really enjoyed that. It was... Dude. He fell. <laughs> so I was rewarded with uh, with an easy path from doing it the honorable way. That's, that's pretty cool. We were going to just try to get him to jump off, but it happened anyways. Didn't have to even focus on that. Randos are sick. Randomizers are really fun sometimes, but there's just some that... Like, I, like this one, the way it started off was just weird man ones that most people probably would just reset and it would it would be one that i would reset if we had extra details on top of being level one and i just didn't want to spend an eternity but i feel like it's easy enough with the fact level one in this game is one of the better level one runs if this was in dark souls 2 i would i would not be happy at all <laughs> no homo but you got a great voice could listen to you all day when you discover a few years back i don't think some saying that someone as a as a let's like let, let's say that you have a orientation of who you like let's say you don't have like a interest in anybody or, or everybody so there's some people that obviously in like their sexual orientation they like everyone or in terms of interest essentially like i if, if i'm gonna go and i'd be like yo that guy is like a good looking dude or something like that or like and i i personally don't like men like that's not it, it can't possibly be something it's like you're saying it. you don't have to say that at all i tell everybody that because like people say that to me in person sometimes too and i'm like why would it ha why would i assume that you like men because you gave me a compliment as a human right you know it's like almost like you're i and I, it could be force of habit i'm not saying you're trying to avoid something because you're afraid of looking a certain way but it almost comes across like either you have fear that people will confuse you for something because you care more about that than actually what you're trying to say or you're just so used to other people saying it that you say that anyways but no one needs to ever say that i think that it's very nice of the comment regardless I really appreciate that. Got okay, good old straight demon again. You need a camera team and a supervisor that calls the angles and stuff, plus a slight delay. Took that in a direction I didn't aim for. You still have a good... So I'm not actually chaotic. I'm not trying to, like, uh, say anything's wrong with, like, your compliment. I, I'm just saying you don't have to feel the need to say that to anybody, like, in general. Even if you're around people that will be like, yo, that's kind of... Like, if someone says, like, the word sus, like, that's because their brain perceives things in such a crazy lens that they, they're afraid of like someone interpreting them a certain way because they're very insecure about certain things, right? In my opinion. 
It's, unless again, it's force of habit, um, because again, it's the environment you're used to. But there's something that tells me again, you're afraid of being interpreted a certain way. And there shouldn't be like a, a need to explain that or like even say that. It's like, it doesn't matter either way. It's just a really cool thing you said. And it helps people focus more on the actual message you're trying to carry too. Like there's some people that I, I'm, I'm pretty like open in terms of like, you could say some wild shit, I don't really care. Heard it all, but like some people might actually take that offensively in a way because they're like, they, maybe they have a thing where they're hyper fixated on it being a problem that people say that. So I'm just trying to say like for the sake of discussion in the future with other people, you don't even need to mention that because it'll actually help you communicate this stuff better in my opinion. But take it for what it is and thank you. And I only mention this because it comes up so often. So many people do that. You actually acknowledge the good looks of men and publicly communicate that. The no homo thing was really just a common phrase used without a deeper meaning. There you go. Fair enough. I, did that, I guess you can use that as a thing for everyone just because I see that a lot and I know some of the people 100% they feel the need to do it. Whether it's habitual or just like, again, you actually have like pure intention to avoid something. It's like the sentiment of what you mean is the more important part. And all that matters at the end of the day. I think that just being able to be like, hey, like that's cool and appreciating something in general is already the the major point. That's that's amazing, right? How does she talk the, the mushroom? <sighs> this is gonna change everything. It's gonna make the game seem really trippy, but so basically what happens in the DLC is like in real life when you eat a mushroom, the process that it goes through inside of you. So basically we're inside the digestive system of someone that ate mushrooms and we're looking at them from a completely different perspective here. So that's just like, that's what normally happens. And there's usually dragons and you know, like some other things. So you're just being digested. Oh man, there's a gargoyle right there. Is the gargoyle a crystal lizard? Man, imagine, okay, that's a whole nother level. So you have enemies being switched for bosses that are normally just regular enemies. And then you got crystal lizards that can't attack you being switched with for bosses. <laughs> Does that mean your stomach aches are just Artorias spinning around? So if you've eaten a mushroom and also beef jerky and um, something that has blueberries in it, then yes. If not, then no, it would just be something else. Because we got beef jerky, which is our character. We got the mushroom, it's Elizabeth, and we got Artorias, who is Blueberry Man. And when you combine all three of them, then you're going to be having the beef jerky being chased by the blueberry man as Elizabeth tries to calm him down with the wisdom of the fun guy. So. But none of this matters before you eat the food. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get the armor up here because I needed some gauntlets that were pretty good. Are these heavier than Havel's? Oh, they're actually lighter. That's nice. Okay. And better defense for magic, particularly lightning, too. Just got demon fire sage. Yeah, dude, I feel like the DLC is going to be easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that in hopes that it curses me and it actually becomes way harder. It's going to be like literally just like easiest thing of all time. Like I've already beaten the DLC right now, dude. Ten minutes. No problem. Couldn't possibly get harder. Wait, there's something else going on. Is it? it did dude make it outside the wall? Yeah, I'll be honest. This run's been one of the most fun runs I've ever done on Dark Souls 1. I think it actually has helped me have some more like creative ideas of how to do things on the game too because there's been some situations where accounting for the the circumstances you're going to be in ahead of time like that that ability was at like full force on manus i've never be, had to think or i've, I've never I don't, I don't think i can recall thinking that hard to like get through a situation like that, to consistently try to get the the taurus demon to not just like to attack me through him or vice versa there we go Dude, we got two gargoyles right here oh shit Okay, so we're not getting the pendant for mana, so I usually don't play like that. This part's easier right here because we don't have the projectiles going on. No! But then I rolled into him. That was actually kind of silly. Is that it, actually? Oh, sorry, Priscilla, Four Kings, and Gwen. I think that's it after, after this. Unless I'm forgetting something else. Okay, so we got the lift sent up. That's good. That's all we needed. So in this game, and this is like a real thing that someone emailed me about, there's a website that sells people souls in this game. Like, they'll farm souls for you and sell you them for real money. Can you believe that? And I was asked to advertise for them. And I was just like, that's a thing? And it reminded me because there's a story I heard before that where someone said they sold, uh, it was like soul of a hero for like 50 bucks on eBay or something. I was or like some stupid, like I don't even know what it was, but it was some accumulation of one of the items you pop in the game for like actual money. And I was like, what? <laughs> even if it was like legit time investment, I'm like, why are people paying money to get currency in this game? This game's not even like an MMO. It doesn't even have the addiction level of like something where you literally value yourself based on the character. It's just like a fucking disposable death simulator. <laughs> it's more about again like the the skill level on it, not really the or the the storyline, the experience, not the oh I'm actually living as a like a character in this digital thing and I treat it like a real life protocol. You know, it's like I was super surprised. Selling souls, yeah, dude. And there is been there's been transactions apparently confirmed that are of items in this game on eBay. And I was like, like, what does that even mean? Like, it, I, I didn't believe it at first. I still think that's not even real. Like, maybe someone can prove otherwise, but like, it's really hard to believe that still. The website was certainly real though. It's very scary because I know people are paying for it. And it's like, whoever's doing that, like you would be 
if if that if that's something you would do for this game to like get ahead in the game, then how do you play a game that's like normal? Like what like you just like basically follow a like a walkthrough step by step of everything someone does just to start the game blind every single time for everything? Or maybe like have someone else, like you pay someone to play it for you? Because there's been people that have said like, yo, I'll pay you like if you go pick up my save and like progress the game. And I'm sure it's a joke like most of the time, but I'm like, what if someone actually really meant that? Like they'd be willing to exchange the money for them not having to be the person that progressed the game <laughs> when it's an elective thing. Yeah, weird topic. Your dad almost bought souls from one of those websites, so you just came over and farmed for a straight hour? Dude, he actually almost bought Really? <laughs> oh man, they're, pre they're preying on the uninformed, dude. I didn't even know someone would consider that. Like, I, I assumed that they didn't have a lot of sales on the website. They're trying to reach out to get people to help promote it and stuff. Because what they were offering was completely stupid. It was not even, like, close to what most people would arrange as a contract for marketing or advertising to, like, you know, certain metrics or whatever. But it was really funny, though. And the way that it was worded was the best. It made it seem like I needed to do it. Like, it was, like, a really important thing. Like, as if they already thought I had made my mind up and I was going to say yes. So they were just giving, like, extra details of, like, how it was going to go. And that it would be awesome. <laughs> Or sorry, all the software there is for free. So you mean so like using using Cheat Engine instead of like going that route much easier. Probably for console players that don't have uh, friends that can play the game that well. Dude, he came back. Can I sit down? Nope. Will he let me just get out of here? Down shit. There we go. Dude, that's crazy. There's like a almost impossible escape there right off the bat. You're excused, young man. You're self-flattering. What was the what was the thing that that uh, Dome Reaper used to say when I used to stream with him? He's just like, "Stop it, sugar tits! You're making me blush. Stop it." That's like the the lunch lady that smokes seven packs a day, but is very charmed by your your compliments. There's not much that could be here that's that's worse. So I, Calme, in my opinion, is probably the hardest thing normally, especially level one. So I think it's going to be something pretty decent. And then as far as four kings goes, I don't know about that. Goat's going to go. Put him in a moat, airy deep, as the body seeps into the soil. I foil the plans like a holographic. A trap card activated as he's asthmatic, trying to cough on the blood that he's been spitting up like a spaz tackened. And he's trying to jump back into the beat and hit him with his feet. Calamite got toes on fleek, manicured all the way down to the beak. But what would we be if we weren't randomized on Dark Souls 3? That, is, that isn't fun. I think I might grab a gun when they update the run with projectiles and have some more fun. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of bad. I couldn't save that. I went a little too obscure right away. Dude, pinwheel is Calamite. This is crazy. And you can't multiply as far as I know. Oh, that's ridiculous, dude. All right, this was the, the randomizer that started off impossible and got really easy. That's nuts. Although again, Four Kings is still looking like it's going to be terrible. So we're going to go there right now. Complete madness. I know it's madness even when it's easy. <laughs> it's like, why are they doing this? So this is where it gets kind of scary. So we're going to put on Havel's Ring with Darkwood Grain Ring. Not have the ability to roll that well. And just poise the shit out of whatever's going on here and see if maybe it doesn't kill me right away. And then I can outchug the, the damage maybe. It, it might even be a fat rolling situation here. But as long as I can actually move which we can we can move which is cool yeah and then the only thing that sucks is ornstein is down here and he's resistant to lightning to a degree and we have a lightning weapon that's the situation <laughs> oh that's rough dude heal oh it could be proximity okay i can lock on nice you can damage him okay this might not be like Impossible, but it's a little weird though. Well, I want a uh, Kindle with 20 Estus, and then I gotta go somewhere else to do that because Firelink is not active. Uh, and I also could try to survive and just try to go for Seath. That might be better because Seath, Seath actually could be good with Lightning. Ooh, you know what though? As soon as I get far away, he does a lot more damage. So what's gonna happen here essentially because the game's bugging out because his actual character model's dead, but it thinks that he can still attack. It's gonna require me to just kill him and just not pay attention to anything else and maybe nothing else spawns in unless the timer's active. Or I'm gonna have to somehow like kill Seath really fast, which I don't think is gonna happen. So this is insane, it is. <laughs> yeah. Even with full Havels, dude, it's, it's just like, I don't even, I, I can't tell you that I have a guaranteed plan yet, but that's better than last time. So I don't think this is gonna be worse than Manus. Uh, I probably want the spider shield too for the, the physical reduction and then if he's if he staggers me any combos it might not be that bad because the damage at close range didn't look too bad i gotta go human too dude we have enough humanities to still open the shortcut where you at oh boy this is bad heal yes thank you heal again and then run here one you might be able to stagger. Oh, dude, it's regular Ornstein. We can stagger. It's not the big one. I thought it was the big one, guys. That is actually hilarious. So this might be okay. 
Just depends on the timer for the fight. And then super close, he's not doing as much damage to me for whatever reason. We just need lightning. I wonder how much damage he'd do with, uh, without armor. Oh, wait, he has a health bar that's separate. So he is a... Oh, we, we can't just do it this way. We gotta... So he's one of the, th like, four of them. That's crazy. Even though his body's gone. This is wild, man. The game actually did a good job. Oh, now, now he appears. Okay. Wild? What's happening here, guys? Uh, is Seath gonna ever attack? He might just be, like, broken. Oh, dude, that scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh my god, that's the most scared I've been in a really long time, dude. That's not good. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> that's not good at all. Oh. Oh boy. Jesus, man. I took my breath away for a second. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. That was insane. All right, Fat Roll and Ornstein infinitely backstepping into a corner. Nice. And he won't follow up the attacks. Ooh, no, there's two Ornstein. No, dude. Ah! Yo, this is actually crazy, man. I don't know about this one, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, like, again, the damage at long range is a little bit worse. This is, uh, this is crazy. Please do something funny. Ah! Nice. Okay. How much health is he? He's pretty low. Okay. That's really cool that I got the follow-up there. Slowed it down a little bit. Uh, swing. Please. Doesn't take much for him to glitch out. That's the problem. Okay, wait. Uh, jump attack should finish. Oh, maybe just a regular attack. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, there's going to be something else that pops up that's scary, because they can spawn, I think, a maximum of, like, what, 12 times or something? So there's going to be another one, I'm pretty sure, unless I kill this guy quick. And now he's just doing this to waste time. That's really unfortunate. Damn it. Just got to keep an eye out. Beautiful. Do another one. Chill. Look around. Nothing. Okay, cool. Might be fine. Just keep at it. No! Okay, okay, okay. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Hit whatever one's convenient. Fight's almost done. Doesn't matter. This guy's not gonna die in time anyways, I don't think. Uh, where are we going? Uh, glide, okay. Wild. Follow up. Mm, no follow up. That would have been a combo to death right there if I was like a foot back. We need something good here. Oh boy, this really sucks. Okay, wait. Chill, chill, chill. Don't jump. Thank you. Oh, I don't really like that. That's really bad. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. That's a terrible fight. Man, that sucks. So close. Yeah. That's like the last thing that's hard, <laughs> as far as I would guess, because I think Priscilla's going to be replaced with something that's not too bad. Like, if it's Manus in that arena, maybe it would be worse. Maybe then, yeah, that's kind of shitty. Um, but yeah, that's, and it's, it sucks that like, it's funny out of every enemy you can get, the only two in the game that would be that bad for like humanoid type enemies would be Gwyn or Ornstein because of the, the lightning resistance, right? So like I should be doing way more damage and then Seath obviously it doesn't really make a difference. You Seath to create a wall between them. I think they just go around to be honest. Could try. If anyone says Hitless, I'm going to ban them for eternity. And then when they wake up after eternity, they'll be banned again. No. Okay. That was karma. I shouldn't ban anybody. No bans. That's really unfortunate. Yo, heal. Dude, why? Uh, just need to stagger. Oh, there's the other sword. Let's see, is he gonna join? Oh, it's not even him. It's something else. Oh, it's about to happen. Perfect, okay, th this is really good. And then I don't know where the other one's coming from, but let's just try to finish this off. Okay, be careful. Oh, Seath can push him away too. Yeah, I should have been chilling over here from the beginning. That's way better. That didn't do too much damage. That was pretty nice. I think this is it. Nice, dude. Oh, we got it. Okay, so then, like, Priscilla and Gwen, and we're done. Two bosses. We might actually be early. Oh, no. The Firekeeper's gonna kill me in a second. Dude, I gotta be very careful here. Don't backstab me. But how? She tried to parry. That's funny. Alright, so this is either gonna be much better than normal, or it's gonna be near impossible to get through here. And I think... I, I'm not 100% sure, but the dragon on the bridge might have been switched, too. So I could possibly just drop down right away. Mm, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's not it at all. Oh, d what? This is like a death trap on the corner. Dude, what? Yeah? Because that's just not happening. Didn't get it properly. No! Oh! 
like, but the Wikipedia, the Wikipedia is not real. <laughs> nice. Dude, okay, so there's a part where you can turn around the corner for a second, then you gotta roll. Otherwise, oh god. Oh. Dude, why can't I get in there? So you're saying that, like, I'm actually doing it the right way, I'm just not getting the, the right spot. Damn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, no. That's crazy. I'm not... Ah. Uh, you know what? So everybody just you're dreaming. It's not real. We're not actually live. You were you were asleep the whole time. You just woke up. I beat Calumet and then I just like beat four kings first try ran here and it's a miracle that we've only been playing for like two minutes. Super easy. <laughs> oh, we got Taurus Demon, dude. That reminded me of the BRB where like I was I was pretending I was Irish and saying plunge the plank over and over. Wait, why do I have 60,000? Oh, Calumet fell. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he gives original souls. That's that's why. I expect Dude, Taurus dead in two hits. <laughs> oh man, all right, we're about to beat this. Just as a double check, you guys can quiz me and just make sure that I didn't forget any other optional boss, but I'm pretty sure we did everything. So Asylum is complete. We got Demon demon Ruins complete with Centipede, Fire Sage, um, Beta, obviously everything up to Beta Chaos. We got Moonlight Butterfly, obviously Sif we needed. We got Taurus Demon, Capper Demon, The Depths, and Painted World, so. And also Gwendolyn too. So what else What else could be left that I might be missing? Who was in Capper Arena? It was Pinwheel, and then one dog and a. Uh, was there something else? I want to say one of the enemies was like an assassin or some sort of like other enemy that I killed pretty quickly. And then the dog, the dog actually cornered me. It was pretty funny. Stuck underneath this like this like little overhang, and then they they almost ended it. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> let me have the fog gate. Let me let me have my win. Don't don't try to ruin something good at the end. All right, any guesses before we go in here what, what this is going to be? I'm going to guess it's Priscilla just because I haven't seen Priscilla yet. It's going to be ceaseless. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, dude, it's Ornstein again. Are you serious? We have fought Ornstein so many times. And then he's he's even weaker than the four kings one. <laughs> oh, I missed. Wow. Run over, got hit. Ornstein is the sponsor of this run. For some reason, he looks a little bit... I don't know if it's because it's the remaster. He looks kind of silver. He looks closer to the color of the DS2 Ornstein. For some reason. Maybe it's just been a long time to be the lighting. <laughs> Gwen had dressed like a co-worker day. <laughs> Freaky Friday happened, they switched spots. Gwen's like, no, this guy's so weak, what am I doing? And then like, meanwhile, Ornstein's just like, I'm beef jerky. All right, guys, that is officially level one with randomized enemies and probably the worst luck I've ever had starting the game that I've seen in my life as well as anybody else. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That was a long run. I also got out as being soft locked into Tomb of Giants, so that'll be sped up probably in the, the edit of this. If you are watching this on the main channel, I guess just as an outro, you can comment what kind of runs you want to see me do next in terms of randomization or even just mods for games that you know of that maybe I've never played. Yeah, if you want to see more modded runs that were older, just go over to my main channel that's in the bio of the second channel, if you're watching on the second channel, and just click modified run playlist. And then everybody in chat can say hi to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really refreshing run. It was it was a good way to get back into DS1 like hardcore versus that jelly bean run because that jelly bean run the only pain there was eating the jelly beans. <laughs> it was insanely entertaining. I appreciate that. Trial by fire. Yeah, that's uh, the ending we get. We can't walk out. We have to we have to set ourselves on fire after that.